have a reference and I'll be sending this to you all all right after the session good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning everyone thank you for having me today it's been a while um since the last training that i had with the training team i hope you guys are all okay so testing nga natin if you guys are all good can you give me a smiley face with sunglasses on the chat box please tignan natin kung gano'ng kabilis ang inyong mga <laughs> Let's get the first three. Boom! Ako, bilis. <laughs> I'm the first person. I know. Dito natin makikita. <laughs> we have Rizal, we have Joe. Ba, sinaharap ko pa pa yung chat box. Nasaan <laughs> 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 yung chat box? All right, don't, <laughs> don't worry. We will have a quick tour of our training room. Pinesting ko lang if you know where to get the smiley and the chat box. So here, um, quick... Uh, quick and a quick tour quick tour of our room uh, for the meantime before I share my desktop <laughs> um, let me just check if you guys can see the annotate tool I, I know you guys are used to Webex and we were trained as well with Webex uh, sa FLT team kaya lang may situation sa Webex I mean it's not really as easy to use for ops sa operations natin kasi Webex are not installed on all PCs sa office and most of them are doing remote. So, site, the site decided that for operations we're using MS Teams saka Skype as the official virtual platform. So, that's why we're using Skype for the meantime. Ayan. So, um, going back, I know that you guys are used to Webex pero pumasyal muna tayo sa ating Skype training room. Now, on the top right corner, and you can see my pointer there pointing at something. If you're using a PC, you should see that pen, that marker there. And that marker is the same with a Webex Annotate Tool. Let me type that one in. So, Annotate Tool. If you are familiar with Webex Annotate, siya din si Annotate Tool. Sa my pic teamable sa my teamable picture yes absolutely sa my teamable picture um dito siya isusulatan ko siya and for the rest who's using their PCs try using it so here meron dapat dito ayan I'm pointing an arrow on it meron dapat diyang pen i can see john using the laser pointer very good so yun yung pinakauna if you're using a pc use it as well try niyo siya explore na muna natin so carla using the laser pointer rizel using the laser pointer merong text tool na for us and for us to type so there's a text tool hello very good who said this uh si john may na good night na gusto nang matulog si rizel Kala nyo, di ko kayo makikita. John. <laughs> so, someone's using the marker. Lauren, we have Carla writing AC that I a crooked C. Carla typing. Ganda ni Carla. Sabi niya nang mag-isa. Um, there you go. So, I, I, I bet. Tingnan nga natin. Sige nga. Ayun din. Dito natin niya masusubukan. So, um, if you can use the annotate tool... Can you, siguro naman nakita nyo na yung chat box, no? Yung chat box nasa lower left. Lower left, yung button sa lower left corner. And then yung chat box, okay? So, um, yan. So, practice nyo yan kasi mag-activity tayo. We will jump into a quick competition, contest kagal tayo sa annotate tool. Ah, switching from PC, okay. No problem siya na yan. Uh, sige lang, PC, computer, kahit ano man yan, desktop, switch for it, right? And then, habulin nyo na lang ha, since we have already started, try, try nyo na lang tong habulin. Now, um, uy, may nagbura. <laughs> Someone deleted all the annotation. Pamute na lang if hindi nakamute. Okay, sino ba nagpapamute? Uh, ayan, so, okay lang naman. So far, hindi naman masyadong noisy. Um, kasi usually pag may participants may electric pa na tumatama sa mic and then it... distraction but for the meet now uh, guys let's switch to a quick activity I need I need the first three names to complete the activity go let me start no? sige basahin nyo lang yan hindi ko nasasabihin yung instructions 
So you just need to finish lahat ng mga required sa box. A red line, a green check, a red X. We can split po. Ay, sino to? Lauren here. I can see it po. Lauren, you, are you using a PC? Yes po. Ako din po. I see. So, wait nyo lang. Minsan, connection situation. Pag nag-switch ako ng page uh, from one slide to the other, minsan may delay bago siya lumabas. So, antayin nyo lang siya. Pero kapag hindi pa rin siya lumalabas, um, after, let's say, uh, less than two minutes, disconnect and reconnect. Okay. So, try nyo yun. And then, let me know kapag nakikita nyo na siya. So, dito muna tayo sa quick activity natin. At meron na tayong winner. Um... Uh, John Mar John Marie Espinas um, Bilis Okay, tingnan natin kung sino ang susunod dyan Hindi ako included pero Jo-join pa rin ako There you go Sige, explore nyo lang yan Uy, Carla Competitive Oh, siya na haya, wow That was quick Okay, yun yung first three natin. Wow. Pero going back, for the rest, try nyo humabol. JM Pogi. <laughs> Slide one pa rin po. Ay. Wala. Slide. Is there... Na, naipit na yung ano. Is that... That's you. Ah, uh, sino ba to? Lauren po. Lauren. Is there anyone else who's stuck like Lauren? Uh, if if you are stuck, kindly put yes on the chat box. If you are also stuck, just put yes on the chat box. Me, Jeff, stuck ka rin? Lauren, yes. Nagdadahilan lang po yan si Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> ano po stuck? Sorry, nag, nag... Boss, ginawa ko yung sinabi mo, nag-rejoin na ako. So, anong stuck po yung hindi po lumalabas yung may ex yung sinasabi nyo? I mean, yung, activity, yung activity. Kasi, uh, what you should be seeing is the activity na annotate tool. Ito yung activity ngayon. Um, if you are... Ay, no, 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 wala na, saglit lang. Ayan, if you are seeing the activity, very good. Uh, so, if you're seeing it, if you're seeing the activity, ay, hindi nyo nakikita. Okay. Hindi, hindi na bagay yun. Disconnect yung... and reconnect ako, boss. Ha? Sige lang. Disconnect and reconnect. Mabilis Sige, lang naman yun. Ah, oh, boss. Ginawa ko na, boss. Eh. Ah, ginawa mo na. Ganun pa rin. Jeff pa, eh. Ni desk nga. Oh, Patingin. <laughs> Kaya nga, hindi ko alam kung ano yung stock mong sinasabi ni Lauren, eh. Kasi during that time, nag-disconnect ako. <laughs> I see. Here, guys. um Paano ba to? Don't worry. Whatever you're missing right now is not really highly important. It's just an activity to annotate. Na. So, Sige, boss, this... nakikita ko na, boss. Ah, nakikita mo na? Alam ko na. Sabi sa iyo, boss, Alam ko na ano lang i... yan. Pinitin yung slide. Nagpapalusot lang yan. <laughs> ano yun, Jeff? Kailangan, oh, boss, kailangan ko pinitin, ano. Ay, alam ko na. Ganon. Tuturuan mo naman kami. Ano yung natutun 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 natutunan mo? <laughs> Hindi ko na alam boss anong ginawa ko basta minan sinunod ko lang dito mayroon nang slide 2 of 22 rito so na next ko na lang. <laughs> sa sa PC yan bro? Opo. Oo, oh, okay. Sige sige lang. Sige po sa akin ni slide 2 ko lang po. Slide 2. Tingnan mo alam mo dagdag pa natin diyan. <laughs> may nag may nagkukwentahan sa likod. Chill. Don't worry, okay. Shania. You were able to write your name naman earlier. So, you're good. Chill ka lang. So, you were able... The rest, that's not really talking a lot. You know, I know you were able to follow. Okay. Lauren, is it showing na? Yes. John JM, yes. Uh, we are all talking. <laughs> I think he has audio issues. Okay. So guys, here. Hala, wala akong marinig. For the meantime, you know, 
At maglagay tayo ng konting troubleshooting. Try checking headset volume um, try to reconnect as well. Ayan. And PC volume. Ayan. Diyan kanya na muna. Kapag lahat yan hindi gumagana lipat ng port sa likod ng PC. There you go. Okay! Good job! So, we have Rizal, Carla, John, J JM, um, Pogi ko. Sino tong ang Pogi ko na to? So, Lauren, Shania, good job. You guys were able to write. Um, finish the activity. Magaling, magaling, magaling. Now, we're gonna go back to our um, what do you call this? I'm gonna present my desktop to give you a tour as to where we are in. Alright? So, going back, uh, I know you guys are used to WebEx. You know? And during the discussions that I had, um, we discussed kasi you know, sa operations ng how to use Skype, MS Teams, and a few of the virtual platforms. Um, unfortunately, si training, not really unfortunately, but nagkataon lang na busy at you guys have classes. So since you guys have classes, let me take the opportunity to give you another tour. So right now, um, if you see my screen, this is the... What do you call this? This is the screen that you're supposed to have. On the bottom right corner, ito yung chat. Ayan. So, doon sa mga naghahanap ng chat, nandito siya. Now, if you can see my desktop, can you give me a... Hmm, can you give me a sun in the chat box, please? Like the... The, the sun. The sun emoji. And there you go. If you can see my screen, if you can see my screen, give me a sun emoji in the chat box. Very good. So we have John, Carla, we have Sinaya, Lauren, Jeff, JM, sige, go JM, lagi mo yung sun, makikita mo rin yan. Lizelle. Ayun, hindi ko na, hindi, ayun, hindi na ka-default yung chat ko. Ayan, so going back, nandito lang yan sa gilid. If you can see my screen, chat is in there. Um... Emojis are in here. So every now and then, I'll be asking you a question and then you need to reply with a certain emoji. <laughs> Para lang masaya. Um, on the top left corner, we have here our participants. All right. So if you will click this, you will see everyone that is in this screen. So if I ask you to popcorn someone and call anyone so that we can hear what they're about to say, you just need to get the list. Here is the list now if you will be hosting in skype what i want you guys to be really mindful of is the screen etong mga screen na to no? so if you see the screen in blue it means that person is seeing what i am showing currently what i'm showing is my desktop so everyone here is seeing my desktop supposedly except for one um and sometimes this situation happens if um, they're using their device, their mobile phone. So sometimes um, you would see as a presenter who might not be seeing the screen. So going back, I just want you to know, uh, going back, a quick tour, a quick tour of the virtual world that we're in. And you can see that all 13 of us are presenters. And nilagay ko kayong presenters lahat. Para you have the same privilege as I am. Parang gusto. <laughs> Rezel, actually, mas, the entire FLD team Philippines chose Skype as well. All for the reason na hindi siya heavy sa computer. The, compu the PC internet connection consumption of uh, Skype is not as heavy. The only problem with Skype, the one and only problem is audio sharing. So, pag magkukolesening kayo, unfortunately, you can't do that in Skype. You need to put the audio in the PowerPoint presentation muna. Alright, so that's the only unfortunate thing. Now, going back, uh, we have the chat button here. We have the participants button here. Here on the top left, uh, right, sorry, right corner, <laughs> goodness. Uh, if we want to invite anyone, for example, si Monica. Ano bang last name ni Monica? 
Monica hindi ko kilala eh. Ano ba last name? Redon. Redondo. Ay, tama ba? Redon. Red, redondo. Ganon. Redondo. Yes, so, redondo. Eto, ayan ang sabi. Monica Redondo. Offline, six hours. <laughs> so, um, pero at least, if, if someone's missing in the training, I can double-click this and then she'll be receiving a notification. Kaya lang cannot we reach offline. So, going back, I just want to give you a quick tour again. Um, if someone got disconnected, someone needs to join in, someone's missing, uh, kayo na bahala since I don't have a co-facilitator. Paki-rejoin na lang siya dito sa um, top Right, and then on the bottom right here on this corner, um, this is where most of the settings are. Now, there's just one setting, or two, two settings that I want you to know. Number one, dito sa taas. Uh, dito sa taas, start recording, stop recording, manage recording. Anything about recording, that like right now this session is being recorded. No? So here, if you can see my screen, we have recording here. And in the middle part, let me see if you can see this. Um, Carla, help me out. Can you see where my mouse pointer is pointing at? Yes. Yeah, can you read it? It's Skype meeting option. Very good. You were able to see it. Carla, one more thing. So here, um, do you see the white Skype meeting option on my screen? Yes, boss. Okay, last na lang. Can you read this part? Who can annotate PowerPoint presentation? Very good. So, um, earlier you were able to write on the PowerPoint presentation. The only reason that, that you were able to is because I activated everyone. You know? So, going back, if you will be hosting in Skype, um, if WebEx goes down, you know, at least you have an alternate uh, virtual platform that you can use, make sure to choose everyone here. Para lahat na kapag Going back, that is our quick tour with our virtual platform, which is Skype. All right. Now we will proceed with our training. All right. If you guys are ready, can you give me? All right. If you guys are ready, can you give me the emoji that is emo in the chat box? Tignan natin kung makita niyo yan. Oh, good job, Zanaya. Wow. Oh, man. You guys are quick. Ah, that is really that amazing, huh? You guys are really quick. This is supposed to be hard. We got Shania, John, Jeff, Joan, K with a double emo. Made you slow young web base. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, if you are web-based in Skype, but if you downloaded and installed it, it will be a bit faster. But don't worry, what matters now is on the screen. The coaching simplified. Um, this is the deck that I'm using right now when it comes to simplifying coaching um, for operations. I want to share it with you guys. But before we begin, above everything else and to set everyone's expectation, number one, if you have a question, ask right away. Okay? If you have a question, ask right away. Don't wait for me to pause, you know, to ask you if you have any questions. No, kapag may tanong, tanong ka agad. Alright? Interrupt if you have a question. Go off mute and then ask the question right away. Or put the question in the chat box if you're... Um, shy. Pero I hope you guys are not shy. O kaya if you're polite, gusto mo yan, mag-emoji ka na nagre-raise ng hand. Pero going back, if you have a question, ask it right away. Okay? So that's number one expectation. Number two expectation, don't let this um, session pass without you really being comfortable. I know in trainings, you might not be comfortable yet with new learning. But what we're about to learn is not really new. It is tweaked multiple times for simplicity, sana. Um, so, if you want me to repeat anything, all for the sake of you understanding, please ask the question over and over. I don't really mind repeating myself. no. So, I'm not the type that would say, na, hey, you only have three questions to ask and then if not, I'm going to hit you. No, we're not going to do it like that. 
If you have a question, ask right away. And since this is a really good team, I've been in the training team. I know you will not be judged, so don't don't feel bad if uh, if you feel that you're not getting it. As long what's important, what is really important is you get what we're trying to discuss. Okay. So if you're good, give me a number one in the chat box. Para mabilis, just give it number one. If you're good, I'm gonna proceed. Boom. All right. And I'll be calling names, huh? but don't worry about it. If I call your name, if you don't know the answer, just pass. Or if you have anything in mind, wag mahihiya. If it's wrong, it's fine. Uh, we're not here to prove anything. We're here to learn. All right? We're here to be certified, by the way. Um, so, let's begin. And I want to begin with something like this. Um, the core. What is the core? Let's see if it shows on your screen. And it's not moving. One second. Ayan. Core. Andai lang. Sumobra. There you go. Core. Um, Carla, popcorn someone. Sino? Shania po. Ah, Shania. Okay, Shania, you were chosen. Okay lang yun. I mean, going back, it's hard in the virtual world to train. Alam natin yan lahat, nagte-train kayo. So, participation is required. Um, and don't worry, you'll not be asked hard questions naman. Shania, what is the meaning of core to you? Yung sarili mo lang understanding. Di ba, Masek? Ras... Mantle core is earth. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Crust mantle core. God, din alam mo na sa science. I like that. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oy, solid kayo. Kung yung okay tatawa. So, where's the core part? Totoo naman po, Stephen. <laughs> That's where I'm getting at. No. So, I'm gonna draw something on the screen. Crust mantle core. Sinimulan mong ganyan, susundan kita. So, if, if this is the earth, ayan, and then, um, where where is the core? Yeah. Alin dyan? If you can use the annotate tool, can you point it out or put an X or sulatan mo? Nasaan yung core dyan? Paano ba ito? Sige lang. Practice nyo yan. Practice nyo para... Ito boss. Dito. Saan? Very good. Okay. So di, dito yung dito yung core. All right. So thank you Sanaya. So wh why why am I telling you things about the core? Um... It's really important for us to understand the reason, all right, why we do things and how we do things. I, I want to start telling you the reason why and why there why actions are done and how the results were achieved. So I want everyone to focus on this situation for in the meantime in learning something you know, make it a point that we understand the reason why something is like that. And that is the same exact formula that we have been using for the longest time. So if it sounds confusing a bit, uh, let me clarify this further as we discuss along the way. Um, and maybe one sample that I can give. In, in, in billing, in, in T-Mobile, in billing, once you understand how the math works, how the system works, the reason why it's showing what is showing. Once you understand the core, kahit paano mo pagbalibalik na rin yung bill, maiintindihan mo siya. So that's how I want us to learn for today. I want you guys to understand that if there is something that we do, why do we do it? And if there's something that we are good at, if there are things that we achieve, how are we achieving it? Yun yung mga bagay na gusto kong matutunan natin. We will learn things starting from the very center or the core of things. Because once you know the core of a person, ah, ito, yung usapan na to, pero it's still related. If you know the core of a person, let's say kung kilala mo yung tao to their very core, kung ano yung values and belief nila, and then most likely you would know how they will act right 
for example, uh, I know most of you, and I know that most of you um, are, are are working really hard for their experts and training because you have a reason, and that reason could be because you care for them. If that value of yours is something that I know, and then the rest of your actions I might be able to tell. So that's why learning from the core, learning from the reason why, and learning how the results are captured are really, really important for us to understand. Now, if that is the way that we will learn today, let me clarify this further with a few more things that we need to understand. Um, question. When it comes to uh, how we do things, you know, um, it is... Is the reason how we achieve something important, yes or no? So when we achieve something, let's say we become number one, is the reason how we achieve that important? Kung paano natin siya na-achieve? Importante ba yun? So yes or no na chat? There you go. Some saying yes, some saying no, and it's okay because it might be my way of presenting the question that might not be clear. No? Pero going back, if your answer is not aligned with what I'm going to say, and then don't feel bad about it, going back, uh, kanya kanya tayong perspective dyan. Pero what I want to share with everyone is if we achieve something, you know, knowing the why is important because it will tell us the rest of understanding almost why things are done so that we can put further action the how part is also important when we achieve things all right so bakit importante yung how when we achieve things or when we achieve results kasi halimbawa if we become number one because of cheating i think that's not good right if we become number one and we become the best because of kicking out people that are not performing instead of coaching them and giving them a chance, I think that's not good as well. So the, the result, the end doesn't justify the means. I, I get your point. <laughs> and you are absolutely right. Did you, did you do it right away? And, what do you mean by that, John? Did you do it right away? Hindi, boss. Um, did you do it the right way? Ay, Joy! Sorry, naduling na ako. Did you do it the right way? <laughs> Absolutely. So, going back, when you when you achieve something, doing the doing it the right way is really important. No? Sabi nga dun sa Ender's Game, I'm not really sure if you're familiar with the Ender's Game. Um nung nanalo na sila doon sa kung basta going back Ender's Game is a good movie if you have time watch it type ko siya Ender's Game yeah. si Ender's Game kasi they need to win something and after winning nung nalaman niya kung paano sila nanalo nagwala siya kasi it was not the right way to do things so going back I just wanna emphasize this uh, before we proceed please when it comes to learning understand the why of the actions kasi once we understand the why of the actions and then we can put more actions into it. Alam naman natin kung saan siya pupunta. The how. How. How did we get the results? Know how we get the results. Because it's really important for us to know how to get the results. And let me tell you guys. How do we want to get the results? And I'll be typing my answer. Ah. So we want to get the results. We want to do things the right way. So we will talk about what is right. So when you say the right way, ano bang ibig sabihin ng right? So what what do we mean by the right way? You know, paano natin malalaman kung yung ginagawa natin tama pa rin? At saka ano ba yung basis ng tama natin in the first place? Lalo na dito sa ating uh, work sa T-Mobile, sa training team. You know, our obligation with the trainees. How would we know if what we are doing is right. And, and Jeff, you nailed it. Eh. That part of what you said, 
is a guide that's why if you saw the next part of the slide we need really a guide eh? pero i'm gonna step backward ah. by the way please type anything that you feel that is related to what i'm saying no? if you feel anything that's related to what i'm saying type nyo lang siya so right, right now in order for us to be sure that we're doing the right thing we need a guide you know so guys familiar ba kayo kung paano nagtra-travel yung mga barko sa dagat before nung wala pang GPS <laughs> are you are you guys familiar if you guys are familiar on how boat travels before yung mga galleons you guys know compass good job Rizal Kaya lang, compass tells you north, east, south, west. Eh, no? Pero there are more two compass that they use. Eh. They use other equipments. Eh. And I'm not really sure if you're familiar with this equipment that you I have on my screen. Eh. Kahit ako di ko alam yung tawag dyan, hindi ko na siya na-research. Yung stars, diri ko. <laughs> napaka, napaka smart ng mga trainees natin. So going back, itong parang triangle chuchu na to. They're using it really to look at the stars. Ayan. So, sobrang aligned yung sinasabi nyo sa pinag-aaralan natin. So, they look, they use it to look at constellations. Eh. So, yung mga captain, this is their guide. No? They look at the constellations, they look at the stars. Pero there's one star in particular that is famous kasi when it comes to directions. You know? Um, that star is Polaris. I'm not really sure if you guys know Polaris or the North Star. You know. So, Polaris, eto na, napunta na tayo sa science. So, Shania, good job. Um, is the North Star. Question, and you can go off mute, no? Why is this a good source for guidance in traveling? Yung Polaris to be specific. Sinong may hula? Guess lang. Why do you think is this a good source in guidance for traveling? Yung barkada ko nakakapunta daw sa stars. Alien siya, JM. No? O may friend siyang... Jeff! Very good. Can you go off mute? Paki-explain lang ng konti yung fix. Um, kasi po, Polaris, it's fixed na po siya. So, it's not moving from its place. So, uh, knowing that it's on the north, we can now determine where is south, west, and east, and the other directions. Good job, Jeff. Jeff, follow-up question ko lang, no? For clarification for our um, co-participants. Co um, when you say fixed, all the other stars are fixed anyway. Why? What do you mean by fixed? Kasi hindi naman umaandar yung mga stars, eh. Umaandar ba yung mga stars? I don't think... I, I'm not sure, boss. Pero kasi we are moving, eh. The Earth is moving from its orbit. Pero Polaris, even if Earth is moving, nasa north pa din siya. It's still on the north. Panalo. Bigyan ng isang sakong bigas yan. So, I'll send you a virtual sack of rice. Good job, Jeff. Goodness. Bigyan ng stars, boss. Okay, bigyan Bo, ng si stars. Bossy, tayo isang sakong bigas, ha? Oh, oh, Jeff, virtual ka ako yun. Virtual sack of rice, Jeff. So, <laughs> so <laughs> nag chopit dun sa virtual boss, eh. <laughs> so, going back. Guys, I know we're talking science, pero I just want to make things simple. When you get a guide, you want to get a guide that is consistent. No? Halimbawa, I'm drawing a stick man on earth. Kapag ako nandito ako, and then I will look at this star. No? Kapag umikot yung earth, hindi ko na to nasa ibang direction na tong star na to eh. No? Kasi umiikot nga naman yung earth. So, pag nasa iba akong direction, ibang direction na tong star na to na nilalagyan ko ng apat na arrow, right? But this star, this is in the north part of the earth. Polaris, north star. Kahit saan ka tumingin, nandyan siya. Hindi siya affected, affected ng rotation ng earth kasi nandun siya sa axis mismo eh. So, why am I saying this? In order for us to know if we are doing the right 
thing sa T-Mob saka sa training. We need to understand, uh, we need a guide so that we will be guided in doing the right thing. And then, what is our guide? Our guide is our goal. What is T-Mobile's goal? Ah, to na, game. Type or go off mute for another sack of virtual rice. What is T-Mobile's goal? Simple lang to. Boom! Okay. Good job, okay. So, you get three stars as well. Good job, Rizel. <laughs> no. So, our goal is to be famous for care. So, going back. This is what we want to do. And Famous for Care has been there ever since. Consistent yan. Siguro nag-improve. Hindi lang Famous for Care sa telecoms. Eh. We wanna be Famous for Care all across industries global. Lumawak lang siya. But it's still Famous for Care. Now, how do we go by being Famous for Care? So, explain ko na lang yung mga susunod nating guide. We wanna be Famous for Care. Uh, by providing overall customer satisfaction. Ayan na. So, tandaan natin, we are learning this so that all our actions will be pointing to this direction. How do we know that we are giving overall customer satisfaction? Is there anyone who knows the two components of overall customer satisfaction? Good guess. Rizel, we will be there in a bit. Pero let's divide it into two pieces muna. What are the two components you think of overall satisfaction? Experience and resolution. JM, here, let me give you three rainbows. Good job. Kasi, guys, here, um, Overall satisfaction is providing the best experience and resolution. Kung sisimplify natin, K2.0, you're absolutely right. Ngay, as the sample that we have received way, way back, kapag umorder ka sa restaurant, no, your food is, is absolutely amazing. Going back, you ordered in the restaurant, the food was amazing. Yeah. The waitress was a yan uh, if you see what i mean in the chat so the food was amazing which one is the resolution there is it the food or the waitress if you order in the restaurant food very good yes you can go off mute thank you very much i know you guys are teaching this right so pag nagpunta sa restaurant they give you the right food and, and that's what you need, that's what you want, and then you get the resolution. But the experience given to you by the wait waitress is a B dollar sign hash at and a percentage sign. So going back, in, in order for us to get overall satisfaction, what you need and the experience should be both the best. Kaya lang, yung best experience and resolution, guided yan ng... Sabi nga ni Rizal, ng guiding principles. And then the rest, I bet you already know. So, um, I hope you understand this because we're gonna need this later. So, this is the breakdown of how we get to where we're at. No. So, if what do we want to do? We want to do the right thing. And then... What's our guide in doing the right thing? If what we do leads us to being famous for care, and then uh, we're gonna do it. Pero is it anything? Does it include cheating? No, no, it doesn't include cheating. It doesn't include uh, disparaging other companies. It doesn't include bringing people down. You know, we, we do that by giving overall customer satisfaction when we tend to their needs. And then how do we define customer satisfaction? Best experience and resolution. Resolve what their needs are the best way possible, you know. And then, how do we know that we we are seeing the results? Where do we see the results of our action? The results of our actions is if our customers are happy, if they stay longer, if they deepen the relationship, and if we lessen their effort. So, etong guiding principles nito can also be tagged as results. 
on how we see our customers. If we see our customers like this, and then we know that our actions are the right thing. How do we measure these guiding principles? Any guess? How do we measure these guiding principles? Type lang kung may hula. Okay, I go off mute. Please feel um, feel okay if it's wrong. No, going back. It's a safe environment. NPS surveys metrics. Ding 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 ding. Good job, JM. So we measure it using metrics. And I cannot stress enough what metrics are. Is there anyone who can define metrics and can go off mute? If you will define metrics in your own word based on the discussion that we have till this very moment. So metrics are what? Kung isa sum up nyo yung natutunan nyo ngayon, kung malinaw yung transmission ng audio ko. Metrics are polaris. Pwede? Good job. Metrics, to be specific, F NPS, FCR, CRT. Sige pa. If, if anyone can go off mute, if you will define metrics on your own way, metrics are... Sige na, huwag na kayo mahiya, goodness type. Sum sumagod na kayo. Dali. Our goal our goal, okay? So, yung goal at saka yung polaris, tama siya. Kaya lang ganito siya. Medyo tumatalon siya ng konti doon eh. No. It's all related. Result of you following the core. Pwede, pwede rin siya. Now, answer this question by yes or no. I'm gonna define si metrics my own personal way on how I understood this. So, metrics is the result of our actions. Yung ginagawa natin, masusukat mo siya sa metrics. For example, what's your action? My action is to make the customer happy, stay longer, to deepen the relationship and lessen their effort. So, if I do anything related to these pillars, and then it should move the metrics. So going back, yes or no, metrics are the results of my actions. Close-ended question yan ha? Okay lang yan. JM, don't worry about it. Sige lang, if you're not sure, if you're sure, no one will judge you. You know, you understanding it is not because of you. It's because of me. I need, I need to do my part to make things clear so that I can see the results of your answer. If you did not understand, if you're confused, it's not your fault. It'll be my fault as the facilitator. So, huwag kayong mahihiyang sumagot dyan. Because your answers are the result of my action. <laughs> exactly. So, and is anyone wants to say something? Sige lang, may nag-off mute yata. Boss, may partly bang sagot? <laughs> pwede, pwede naman. Pwede naman. Kasi it cannot be as, as absolute eh. Pero I'll clarify it one uh, one more time before I move to the next page. No? Because what I'm trying to say is, halimbawa, um, nasa TCC, di ba? And us trainers, we are there. What? Driving performance. So sometimes, uh, what we do is, not what we do, but what the experts understand is, I need to achieve the numbers. Minsan ganun yung nagiging thinking nila eh. I need to achieve the goals. Ang, ang goal sa kanila, yung number. Okay. Well, technically kasi, para pumasa ka, you need to achieve the metrics nga naman or the goals. Kaya lang, mis minsan yun yung nai-embed sa utak ng trainees. I need to achieve the numbers. Partly, right eh. Pero what do you need to focus on? 
Ayan. Doon nagkakanda iba-iba. So, if you're, if you need to achieve the metrics, does it mean that you focus on the metrics? The metrics are just results. Metrics are the way, sabi nyo nga, the way to measure. Measure what? Measure the results of your action. So there. I'm only saying that for us to understand that metrics are goals but not by any means something that you focus on. Right? Because metrics are the way to measure the actions that we do so that we can make the customer happy, make them stay longer, deepen the relationship. Kung ano man yung ginagawa nating action guided by the principal. Yung action na ginagawa natin to provide the best experience and resolution. Yung action na ginagawa natin to provide overall satisfaction. Yung action na ginagawa natin so that we will be famous for care to achieve our goal. Uh, going back. I am, um, and if you have noticed, I am stressing the word action. The action that we do is the one that will be measured by the metrics. Ayan. No, kasi metrics is guide on what we achieve. Result is what we achieve. In a way, absolutely. Good job. Thank you very much, JM, in uh, providing the technicalities on it. Diba? So, sabi niya, a metrics is a guide on what we achieve. Yung trend ng metric, to be more specific, is the guide. Kasi, if a metric goes up or down, nagsaproprovide na siya ng direction. And that is what we call trend. And that trend will be your guide in what you need to achieve. Ayan. So going back, I'll pause for a bit. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask. I know I should not be doing this, pero um, I'll, I'll give every, every, everyone a moment. Uh, don't feel shy. All right? If hindi siya malinaw, pero ask lang kayo. Kung may tanong, just ask. If you don't have a question, give me a heart. <laughs> Basta ako may sabihin lang para sure. I want to uh, piggyback on what you said. Kasi parang um, not only in training but also in the production, parang much of the conversation and with regards to metrics kasi minsan ang nagiging focus na lang and mindset ng, ng expert is how to reach the the, the metric. How, how can I get um higher fcr so and and it drives them or it it leads them to doing something that is actually outside of the policy or outside na wala doon sa guide or polaris natin so ang, ang nagiging focus ng mindset is just to hit it but they're now disregarding how to hit it so parang if it 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 doesn't coincide with it or it doesn't go along with the core na discuss natin earlier like diba you you're asking the how and the why Very good, Jeff. Don't, don't, don't blame natin yung sako ng bigas niya. Jeff, naputol ka ba? Bigla kang nawala eh. Or did you stop abruptly? Yeah, boss. Ano ako naputol, boss? Sorry. <laughs> ay, ay, hindi ka naputol? Okay. I guess, boss. Naputol. Okay, okay. John, thank you for backing up. Um, yun, so hindi siya naputol. Pero, hey, I really, 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 really appreciate if you can do something like that. If, if, if you can please... Um, Tell me how you understood things. Uh, for me, going back, yun naman ng measurement ng facilitation ko. Kapag meron isa sa inyo dalawa, sana 100% na nakagets. Um, masaya. Yun. Ako, boss. Go. Meron akong clarification just for me to better understand. Are we talking about it on a leader's point of view or are we treating ourselves as um, learners? Um, this, uh, scenario. For this situation, both eh. Pero tell me what you want to point out. Sige lang. Share lang. Um, kasi po remember, there, I mean, both ways naman, there is still the um, circle of control. That's just what uh, came into my mind when you asked if it metrics is, um, ano kasi yung question mo kanina? <laughs> Boss. Measure um, yung... metrics eh. 
result of my actions. Uh, um, that's okay. why I said partly is because of the uh, circle of control. So there are part of the metrics that uh, are definitely out of your control, and there are things that are um, inside of your control. That's why I was wanting to um, elaborate on that. Question, Joe. Napaganda ng pinoy mo eh. Which is something that is part of your control? Yung controllable mo, yung action, yung metrics. Um, it's gonna be the action. Perfect. And that is aligned to what we're talking about. One thing that is in your control is the action that you do. Kasi you you do the right thing eh. And what's the right thing? Ayan, nakalatag na sa harapan natin eh. So you 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 do the right thing. What's in your control is your action, and then yung metrics sumusul put na lang yan as a result, eh, ne ba? And then we base our next action kung ano yung sa sabi ni metrics. Halimbawa yung FCR based on our action, bumaba ng bumaba yung FCR, and then nakita natin na meron palata yung missing action. So what we will do, ang controllable, dagdagan yung action for what is that missing action that we're supposed to do. Now, lalabas na naman yung metrics. Papakita na naman yan. Dahil binigay natin yung next step for the customer, umakyat yung FCR. Eh gusto pa natin paakyatin. Then we identify that we should be selling the self-help option. Hindi lang sinasabi, dapat benta mo yung self-help. When you say benta, gugustuhin ni customer gawin. You just don't say self-help because of saying self-help. You you sell the self-help so that the customer would want to do it, would get bought into it. So what are we talking about? We're talking about the action to take so that you will influence the metrics. Kasi nga, somehow, your action will be measured by the results of the metric. So that's the only thing that I'm pointing out. And the reason why is, yun na nga, it's needed, but we don't want to focus on the metrics. What we want to do is, what to do? Know the action that will influence the metrics. I can't really stress enough. And I will tell you why we took time in this fourth slide. No, I'll tell you why. Here. Question muna. Why do we train? Simple question. John, since you're the last one, ay, was it John, the last one to answer? No Yun po. Yun share Ikaw Question po yung sakit. Ah, po. <laughs> oh, pwede, pwede na yun, yung circle of control. Pick ka naman ng hindi pa nagsasalita dyan, no? Tawag ka naman ng kahit sino. Um, Riz. Riz. Riz, Kayanan, we meet again. Yep. May mga team building pictures pa tayo dito sa laptop. Oh, way back, Sphinx. Hoy, Riz, narinig mo ako. Hello. Hello, boss. <laughs> okay ka lang? You good? Yes, boss. Um, Tumawag lang saglit si Ate Van. Sorry. <laughs> Ay, okay lang. I mean, if you need to continue talking. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Kausapin mo muna siya. What's the question po again? Ayan, nandiyan lang sa screen. Madaling madali lang. Why do we train? <laughs> <laughs> okay, why do we train? Um, I think it's because uh, for we to be able, uh, I mean, for us to make sure that um, before the rep um, need or, I mean, will took the call, um, the rep is ready and will be able to um, at least um, achieve the goal that we have for the business needs and of course uh, for the customers as well. Perfect, Chris. Thank you very much. And then you guys might be noticing from this point forward, I know we went to the science piece, eh, pero still, um, I want to give you what's in the core uh, and then the house. I want to simplify it. Um, why do we train? If I'll simplify it the simplest way possible so that the trainees would know what to do. Agree, disagree. So that the trainees or the experts <laughs> would know what to do. Diba? Tinatrain natin sila eh. So that pag nagkukulls na sila, alam nila yung gagawin. And still, bumabalik tayo doon sa gagawin part. You know? 
so that so that they would know what to do now how do we know if they are applying what we taught them to do how will we know if they are applying paano natin malalaman kung ginagawa nila yung dapat nilang gawin yung tinuturo natin sa kanila It shows in their actions. How would we see those actions kapag nagko-calls? To be specific, give me an action item. SBS. Boom! And to make it more simple, isn't it that we listen to their calls? Yes po. Perfect. When we listen to calls, eto na tayo ha, papasok na tayo dito hindi unti. When we listen to calls, you know, what are you looking for? You know, when when we listen to calls, what do you have in mind? What are you looking for? If they are following the past resolution. <laughs> Pwede. Sige lang. The rest, thank, thanks, Joan. Thanks, Joan. Let me give you a star. Let me give you three stars. So, how about the rest? When you're listening to a call, non-negotiables, okay? Non-nego. Sige lang. What are you looking for? The behavior. Pwede. MIB boss. MIB, <laughs> most impacting behavior. And then, if you see what where I'm going, bumabalik tayo doon sa mga dati nating learnings. No? Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo kangina, um, sisimplify ko siya. Nung binanggit mong MIB, you mentioned the word most impacting. When Jeff mentioned pivotal, I bet what Jeff mentioned is the behavior that can turn the call around. Yun yung pivot eh. No? Tama ba, Jeff? You can turn the situation around. Yes. So, when you say turn the situation around, what is that one thing that the agent or expert should have done? What is that one thing that the agent should have done to turn the entire call around? When you say turn the entire call around, to make the best experience or the best resolution. So, pag nagko-call listening ka, yun yung hinahanap mo. So, check out what I've done. I did not even use the word behavior yet. Kasi nga, nandun tayo sa pinaka-core eh. Yung pinaka-core niya, ano bang gusto mong mangyari? Ang gusto mong mangyari, ano ba mahanap mo kung ginagawa ba ni expert yung tinuro mo? Because what you taught them is the right thing to do. No? And then, if there are things that they missed that they were not able to do, so those are actions that are missed or I can say as opportunities. Diba? So yung action na hindi ginawa ni expert na dapat niyang ginawa, e eh, paano kung meron sampo? Sa isang call na 3 minutes, meron siyang 10 misses. Kamusta naman? Which is normal every now and then. Simula verification hanggang um, ending the call, wasak. So, what you will do is, it's hard for the expert to remember everything. So, you get that one thing. Right? So, you get that one thing that the expert should do to turn the call around. If you guys get what I'm saying, can you give me a rainbow? If you have a question, go off mute and ask now. Hindi nyo makita yung rainbow, no? Wala akong rainbow, boss. Bakit ganun? Mag-yes na lang kayo. So, if you don't, if you don't see if you don't see it, Buma ah, di nyo makita. So, mag-yes mag na lang kayo kung di nyo siya makita. So, are you guys good? Do you have any questions? Nagigit nyo sinasabi ko? Yes po. Okay lang. So, guys ha, remember. And agree and disagree if you wanna disagree. Okay lang yun, going back. Uh... If you listen to calls, naghahanap ka ng opportunity na the expert should have done based dun sa tinuro mo. No? 
So, ang question sa utak mo, ano, what could the agent have done to turn this call around? Tapos ang sinasabi mo sa sarili mo, dapat ginawa ni expert to eh. Dapat kasi kinlik niya to eh. Dapat kasi sinabi niya yun eh. Yun yung nasa isip mo. Dapat kasi sinabi niya. Question. No. If an action pinalagi ko sa chichata that should have been done that was considered an opportunity Ayan. kung yung action na dapat ginawa <laughs> that was considered as an opportunity was observed in more than three calls then that action becomes what? Good job, Jeff! Behavior. Good job, Joan! And, and, and Joan, you're smart. I mean... But ka magta-type, pwede ka naman mag-amute, di ba? So, <laughs> and then, and then, okay, good job. So, you guys know where I'm leading at, no? Kaya lang, why am I stressing it this much? No? Bakit ko ini-stress masyado yung, yung discussion na to? Hindi nyo ko nariri, ano? Hindi nyo nariri ngag, ano yung nyingyangog? Unmute ako. Ano daw? Chinese na siya, boss. <laughs> Di daw po siya naririnig. Nag-unmute daw po siya. Ah, okay. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah, hindi ka namin naririnig. Hindi niyo ako naririnig. May translator si, ano, si Jeff. Oo. Uh-uh. Okay lang, Jeff. Mapilis ka naman mag-type. No? So, so going back, guys. Um, I can't stress enough. This part kasi, you know, of the things that we do, um, in behavior, action lang yan na paulit-ulit. No? In Tagalog, nakaugalian. So, if, if, if someone um, is not removing their shoes upon entering their home, if someone's not removing their shoes upon entering their home, and they're doing it every time, and then that's a behavior already. What's the action? Not removing their shoes. All right. And then how can you make it positive? remove your shoes. Hindi mo siya ilalagay na not removing your shoes as a behavior. Kasi we we put behaviors in a positive statement. Eh. Pero going back, if you know this, the meaning of behavior, hindi ka mahihirapan mag ano, hindi ka mahihirapan mag word ng behavior. Bakit ko to sinasabi? Kasi, um, right now, you guys know that all coaching documentation is actually being placed in one form, in one MS form. And I'm doing the report every week. Um, May share ko lang sa inyong mabilis. Alam nyo ba yung mga behavior na nakasulat sa mga, ano, sa mga reports na nakukuha ko? Bibigyan ko kayo ng sample ha. Para mag-guess nyo where I'm coming from. Kasi I don't want you guys to experience and do the same thing that operations is doing. And I'm not saying all of them, no? Kasi it just so happened that the way that we were taught before um, is not... I'm not really sure, pero you would you will be the one to tell me later, no? On how things were taught before. Kasi I was told before that behaviors are something that can be heard, seen, and repeated. And then after understanding nga, 10 years, nalilito pa rin ako. Sabi ko, can we simplify this more? So that, kasi if that was clear, if the definition of behavior was clear, and then we should not be having any confusion about wording behaviors. So right now, if you can see my screen, can you type 1 on the chat box? If you can see my desktop, I'm sharing my desktop right now. I'm gonna show you a PowerPoint presentation. So if you can see my screen, just type 1 on the chat box, please. Hey, wala siya, Jeff? 
Yes, you can type two if you don't see my screen. Goodness, I only give one instruction. Sorry. Ay, JM, wala din siya. Okay, wait wait for it. Baka loading lang. Uh, so just, let's give it a few seconds. I want to show you guys something. Um, and then, I'll check on the chat. Let's see if you'll be able to see it. No? Pero... Sino controller, Mami J? Mami, we can hear you. <laughs> Mami J, sino controller? <laughs> Ikaw ba? Naka-unmute ka. <laughs> no? Anyway. Ayan. So, let's see. Baka loading pa. Sige lang. Baka nga loading pa. So, Now, here. Uh, Carla, are you still there? Yes, po. Can you see my screen, Carla? Yes. Can you read the one in yellow? In yellow? Mm, Nag-highlight ako ng yellow sa Excel file. Kita mo siya? Okay. Loading pa po, boss. Ay, loading pa. Okay. Sinong nakakita? JM, can you can you read? Ay, may mic ka ba? Sige nga. Kung sino man yung nakakakita, pakibasa na. Go. Act as a consultant. Encourage SSO. Act as a consultant. Encourage SSO. Ay, maingay sa end ni JM. Hala, one second. Kaya pala nagpapamute kangina. So guys, here, if you're not talking, go unmute muna, no? And then go unmute na lang kapag nagsasarita. Ayun, nakita mo na. Thank you, Shania. Thank you, JM, for letting me know. Um, Going back. This entire column is the list of behaviors identified for the past um, month of April. So, lahat ng coaching na nagawa ng coach, nakikita ko yung mga nilalagay nilang um, behavior. No? So, dito ko measure how people understand what a behavior is. You know? And this is where I'm coming from. Ito yung malalim na hugot kung bakit yung training natin is like the way it is right now. No? So, you will see something like this. Act as a consultant. No? Me meron, yang, meron akong nabasa dito na hinahanap ko, hindi ko makita eh. Balance CEO. Ayan. Um, act as a consultant, encourage SSO. Ano ba yung SSO? May nakakalam ba ng SSO? Self-service option. Act as a consultant by providing single sign-on self-service option. Okay. See, if, if you look at it, medyo magulo, di ba? Lalo na itong nasa screen ko ngayon. Act as a collector. Is this an action? Yes. Mag-act ka daw. So going back, behaviors are action words. Kaya lang, medyo magulo tong act as a collector. Kaya itutuloy pa natin yung discussion natin. Pero what we want to look at in this sample raw data are behaviors if they're action. For example, tulad nito, customer journey. Behavior daw to. So ano gagawin natin sa customer journey? How is this an action word? Diba? So tandaan natin doon sa discussion, we need to know what to do. What the expert should do. So, ang gusto nilang gawin dito, customer journey. How is this an action word? Be, so, be expert, know what benefits the customer. Boss, I do have a question. Sige nga. 
Um, is this gonna be leading to symptoms versus uh, behavior? Ah, hindi tayo bubunta dun. Ah, okay. Uh, so, going back, uh, we will just go to how to simplify behaviors to a point that we will all understand it. Hopefully, ha, I, I, that's my, I'm, what I'm going for. Eh. Hopefully, we understand behaviors the most simplest way. Na kapag tumingin ka sila sa na ganito, alam mo siya kung behavior o hindi. No? So, anong parameters natin? Ang number one parameter natin, action. It should be an action word. Pero does it end there? No, it doesn't end there. Pero ang sample lang natin ngayon, act as a collector is an action kasi mag-acting ka. Pero hindi siya sapat. We will be adding a few more parameters to make sure that this is really the behavior that we want to communicate. Customer journey, not a behavior. Kasi, sinabi mo lang, customer journey. This could be an internal agreement dun sa expert na pag sinabi kong customer journey, ang gusto kong gawin mo, i-click mo yung tools mo, yung billing system mo, the customer journey part, tingnan mo yung pinanggalingan niya para alam mo kung saan siya nanggaling and then make sure that you tell the customer that you understand their journey so you feel bad about what they're going through. Siguro meron silang ganong agreement. Tapos ang code, customer journey. Probably. no But this is not how you wanna put behavior. Katulad nung kanina, SSO. If you're gonna use that, if you have an internal agreement with the expert, siguro pwede. Pero what we wanna do is to communicate the action as simple as possible para hindi nagkakalituhan. Tulad nito, probing questions. Ito, masaya to. So magsasite na lang ako ng one more example and please if you have any question, ask lang kayo. No? So sabi dito sa so nakahighlight, probing questions. And then probing question, sabi, nako hindi yan malinaw. Let's clarify it. Sabi, let's have probing question, ask close-ended questions. Ayun, malinaw na. Close-ended questions. Listen to this. Here's what the rep did. Customer said, hey, I have a problem. Can you help me? Expert said, oh, you have a problem, right? Sabi ni expert, pakicheck yung hit miss ko. Kasi nag-close-ended question ako. Goodness, did you guys hear that? Customer said, hey, I have a problem. Expert said, oh, you have a problem, right? The close ended question siya. Check mo yung hit miss. That is absurd, di ba? So, it, it is not really communicated as clear as it should be. So, close ended question, open ended question, discovery question is not really highly recommended for it to be clear. Although nasa materials yun ni T-Mobile. Okay. So, going back, we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do it the way that hopefully you guys would um, would be able to understand. And what will be my measurement? Na pag pinakita ko sa inyo tong list na to mamaya, masasabi nyo sa akin kung behavior siya o hindi. No? So, for the meantime, I talked about parameters. What do I mean by parameters? A behavior is an action that was observed as an opportunity. No? Multiple times it was observed. Three or more than calls. Kaya siya naging behavior. No? Pero, how do you communicate that behavior? No? How do you word that behavior? Para sigurado ka, hindi siya symptom. And we have one parameter there in the chat box. Good job, Kay should be specific. No. A behavior is a repeated action observed as an opportunity in three or more calls. If you can see that, kindly give me a one, a number one, and a two if you don't see it. The screen, there should be the PowerPoint on the screen now. And let me know if you see it. Boom! Puro one. Good job. Okay. So, mag-duel muna kayo dyan ng konti. No? So, remember, it's an action. So, pag may nakita ka, no, I'll, I'll give you examples later and then you tell me what's missing. Pero, I'll give you the part. Yo, question. Ay, you don't see it, John? Yeah, boss. Sige, sige, sige. What were you saying? Yes, boss. Ay, di ko alam kung 
na-discuss mo na boss. Pero kasi diba, sabi mo nga, it's a uh, opportunity in three or more calls na na-observe. Pero what usually happens po, diba, if there is a low score, they just listen to the low score and then they will boom, there is a behavior. Kasi there's a low score, they'll just find fault on that low, low score na call. But if you're talking about behavior, sabi mo, it should be three or more calls. Pero one call lang yun boss, eh, diba? Usually that, was, that is what happening. Jeff, ikaw ba yan? Yes, yes po. Jeff, Jeff, mag-unmute ka na muna. Stay ka lang dyan sa, ano, let's talk for a minute. So, um, if we will define, the def- if we will talk about a behavior in Tagalog, di ba, yun yung action na na-observe multiple times? Da, yun nga po, boss. Dapat, di ba, multiple times? Oo. Uh-huh. Going back, yun. So, let's just talk for a bit. Which is, nakakapagtaka. Bakit? Sometimes, if we do call listening, that we, like, you guys, I don't want you falling into this pit. Minsan kasi pag nag-call listening, and you might have observed this eh, nag-play ka ng isang call. Tapos here's the question. What is the behavior? If you're gonna look at the technical side, you can't tell a behavior from one call. <laughs> diba? Yung nga po, tama po. True. Right po. And I get what you're saying. Number one, hindi siya behavior if we're gonna be technical kasi isang call lang siya. Number two, Minsan, ganun yung approach, eh, no? Focusing on the detractor. Ayan. So, going back. Thank, thank you, Jeff, for, for pointing it out. And I wanna highlight and piggyback on what you have mentioned. Kasi you're absolutely right, eh. Pero, next question. Is is it wrong to coach to the detractor? Not really. no, Not really. Pero, what you want to do is, number one, kung yung detractor na yun, tied up dun sa ma- madalas na ginagawa ng expert na mali, and they focus on it. Pero if it only happened once, and then just learn for it, per, le, learn from it, pero don't make the entire focus of the expert fall on that one area. Kasi, mag, ano ka, pag nag, nag, naghabol ka ng, ng NPS lang, ng one action lang dun, mapapabayaan naman yung iba. So, nagkakaroon ngayon ng, um, tawag rito, unbalanced approach. Alam mo yun, yung parang you're chasing numbers. Pinababa mo yung CRT, apektado naman yung app. Pinataas mo yung app, bumatumas na may CRT. Alam mo yung mga ganong approach. We're going back. Thank you, Jeff, for pointing that one out. So, this one-liner here is one thing that we need to consider. It is an action, you know. Pwede naman natin kasing i- ano, pwede naman natin i-google yung definition ng behavior. Eh. Pero we're talking call center behavior. Eh. So, an action, hindi basta-basta action. Yun na-observe natin sa calls. Kasi doon natin tinitingnan if the experts are doing what we have taught them to do. And what we have taught them to do as trainers are the right thing to do. Because it's based on policy and those policy are guides so that we can be sure that we provide satisfaction and resolution based on the guiding pillars to make us famous for care. Ganun siya nagrurut back eh, pansin ninyo, di ba? So, action, observed on the calls, three or more calls. Yan ang behavior. So, pag nakakita ka ng C2, hindi action yun tool yun eh. Unless meron silang internal agreement. So this is one. If anyone wants to go off mute, if they want to say something, please do so. Thank you for sharing kasi nakaklarify siya. Um, and here's the other parameter. Kay mentioned earlier specific. And you are right. Kaya lang dagdagan natin ha. So when you say specific, hindi lang specific eh. Dapat simple din siya. When you say simple, Sabi ni Brad Kilborn, yung partner natin na dati naka-assign sa Clark, ngayon kasi si Barb chose ni. Um, I'll, I'll show you simple and not simple later. No? Kasi ang definition yung simple, something that your mom can understand. So, if you say, Mom, acknowledge. Not really sure if your mom would go with those terms. Eh, no? Non-subjective. Non-subjective. Ayan. So, now, um, let's have a quick activity. Um, be ready with your annotate tool. No. So, sulat lang kayo sa tabi ng line. Uh, let me pull out a whiteboard. Um, by the way, guys, uh, part of the tour, we have a whiteboard here sa Skype. And I know WebEx has a whiteboard. Zoom has a whiteboard. MS Team has a whiteboard. Adobe Connect has a whiteboard. So, what's my point? One function of a virtual tool is available for the rest of the tool. So, yeah, kung, kung ano lang yung preferred mo. No. So now, 
you know the parameter should be simple should be specific should be an act action word should be non subjective so i'm going to type something here sa taas and then dito sa baba ilagay niyo sa loob ng box yeah. what you think about what i'm typing behavior siya non behavior siya what's missing na kaya na maglagay so what i may put here Is this a behavior or not? If not, type the reason why in the box. Kung hindi mo kaya sa box kasi, naka phone or um, chat board na lang. And if your answer is wrong, don't feel bad, ha? Don't feel bad. Ala, yan daw yung behavior tools. No, not action. Boss, hindi ko makita. Phone lang po ako. Ah, Rowan. No, <coughs> kanina ka pa dyan, Rowan. Pat kayo para lang kaysa kita. Good morning, Rowan. So here, um, what I have on the screen, I'll type on the chat box as well para makakahabol tayo. ha. So here, what I wrote on the screen, sabi ko, to. Is this a behavior? And then sagat na lang tayo dyan. Should be specific. Good. There's no action. Good. No. What is the tool specifically? Kakain lang boss. Ngayon lang nasabi ni madam. Okay lang Rowan. Don't worry. This is recorded. I'll send the recording to you guys. And I'm uploading a recording through YouTube. So wala na mga access, access, YouTube kayo problema. At that's how we make it easy for everyone listening their, their effort. So makakahabol ka. Don't worry about it. So right now, let me change this. Alright? And then type lang kayo dyan sa chat box. What if I say... Eh, ito wala, sorry. So, what if, I, what if I say, goodness, here. Is this a behavior? I like this. You have different answers. We have yes, yes, yes. We have no, not specific. Okay. Guys, thank you. Ah. Lagay lang kayo ng answer kapag kahit hindi kayo sure, huwag kayo mahihiya, okay? And, uh, here, for the answers on the screen, I will not announce who, may, who, who, who wrote the answer para if nahihiya kayo, you will not feel bad about it, okay? Standard news. Okay, so here. The answer is no. Right. So here, when we word behaviors, it should be simple, action word specific, non-subjective. So this falls under simple siya, use. Minsan kasi siya, utilize. Pwede naman utilize, no? pero use is more simple. Use C2. No? So it's no longer tools, it's C2. Pero which specific part of C2? No? What specific page of C2? So, if I'll make this more specific, it can be use C2 expired promotions page. So, now it's specific. Or it can be use C2 for providing advisements. So, you want to be specific if it's a landing page, a document, a part of C2. So, that's how specific you can be. Bakit? Kasi pwede magkaiba-iba interpretation when you say use C2 lang. Di ba? So, going back. When you say use C2, it can be as specific to a page or a document, or a landing page, right? or it can be a part of the page, like 
expectation, process, use C2 steps in processing account changes. Ayan. Pause muna ako ng konti. You guys good? If you have any questions, you can ask now. Gets ba natin siya? If you guys get it, you can put yes on the chat box or you can put one on the chat box kung gets natin siya. Kung lalagay... Ano? Kung... Kung kulang yung space sa paglalagay ng NIB sa SBA. <laughs> <laughs> eh, to true The space allotted in the SBS Might not be as clear Kasi, here's going back You want to You are providing instructions on what to do You're providing actions What you don't want to do Is for the expert to interpret it their own way Parang yung kangina Ask questions, close-ended questions. Ang ginawa ni expert, Oh, Master Customer, you have a problem, right? That did not lead anywhere. Kasi nga, hindi malinaw yung pagkaka-word ng probing. So, when you word the behavior, specific, simple, non-subjective, and an action, it should be something that will not be misinterpreted. Ewan ko lang kung maligaw ka pa pag sinabi sa yung UC2 page, expired promotion page. I I mean I, I mean you can go go back go who wants to say something go sige lang Yes uh boss si Jato uh, I think there will be no problem with that kasi naman diba uh usually for, uh, for mentors for coaches before they change yung mga behavior nila um do sa SPS they will be having a coaching naman So uh I think there are some na yun nga maglalagay sila ng sila na something really short to sa SPS form and then automatically maintindihan na ni uh, expert yun. Yun yung ano, and thank you for pointing that out, yun yung mga parts na tawag rito, nakagawian, nakagawian na siya. Pero, that's the thing eh, why would we shortcut something? Di ba? If we will shortcut something, because it's absolutely necessary to shortcut something kasi when you say absolutely necessary wala na tayong pambili ng pen tapos lahat ng laminating form natin hindi talaga masunod i mean if you have an absolute reason why you need to shortcut it then do so kasi ang importante lang naman dito na intindihan ba ni expert eh. pero kung wala naman we might want to practice writing it the way that it should be and here's our enemy ang kalaban natin dito hindi tayo sanay Halimbawa, if I say, ito, uh, so, hindi na ako maglalagay ng box sa uh, whiteboard, no? magsusulat na lang ako. Ayan. So, this one, first question, behavior, not behavior. Pag-usapan natin to, masaya to eh. Not. Not. That behavior. Why? Reason why? Real quick. Dahil, what's missing? Specific. Not specific. Okay, good. But yeah. is it an action word? When you say pro, action ba yun? Wala, no, wala ka na. Okay. Ala, tatlo na lang yung nagsusulat. <laughs> Where's the rest? <laughs> I think it's an action. It is an action. Kasi when you say... When loading. You say, ah, loading, loading. Okay, so here. We, um, For me, yes. It's an action. It's an action. Go. So here, ilagay ko rin sa chat ha. Yan yung question. Is this a behavior? Probing. So the question is, is this an action word? Yes, it's an action word. But this is it a behavior? The way that we want to write it, not really. No. So, all the answers on the screen is right. It's not a behavior. Now, if if you're listening to a call, what do you want the expert to do? Isn't it that you want them, ito ah, 
magdagdag na ako. Isn't it that you want them to ask questions? Yes or no? When you say probing, di ba gusto mong gawin nila magtanong? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. But the situation now that we got used to is, why do we not tell them just to ask questions? Why do we use the word probing? So the thing there is not really as simple. Nung ako, pumasok ko sa call center, nalaman ko lang yung probing. Nung tinuro sa akin kung ano yung probing. Because it's not really as simple as it should be. You know, it could be simple for some, but on the general public, yung mga... If you want to make it really simple, ask questions is the best way to go. Kaya lang, going back, is probing simple? No. You can make it more simple, ask questions. But it's not specific. No. So how can we make this specific? Now guys here, pay attention. Um, ano ka sa next start? 7, no. We'll go on a 15 minute break. Oh, diba? May break. So <laughs> we'll go on a 15 minute break after this part of the discussion, no. So pay attention lang, mabilis lang tayo dito. If you're gonna word asking questions, no. If you're gonna word asking questions, you wanna be specific on what the expert should achieve. Kung ano yung dapat nilang ma-achieve. Jeff, nandiyan ka pa? Sige lang, unmute ka. I am here, boss. Game, game. Mag, ano tayo? Magro-roleplay tayo, pero ako yung expert, no? Uh, customer ka. Ay, hindi. Sorry, ikaw yung expert pala. Ako pala yung customer. Pero don't worry, hindi kita pahihirapan. Para lang may kausap ako. So, um, Jeff, I am in need of help. So, if you're the expert, how will you respond? Kahit wala na yung signature response muna. Okay lang oh, um, yeah. Uh, how can I help? So, your question is, how can I help? And then, why did you ask, how can you help? Kasi hindi rin naman specific yung tanong ni customer, ay yung issue ni customer eh. Absolutely. So sometimes, you want the expert to ask questions no? to understand the customer's reason for calling. Bakit? Eh, ang labo ng reason for calling eh. Hey, I have a problem. Diba? So, if I tell you, Jeff, Ask questions to understand the reason for calling. You can ask the customer open-ended questions. P pwede mong sabihin, uh, Mr. Customer, you know, may, uh, can you tell me more about the problem? Open-ended question. Pwede ka rin gumamit ng close-ended question. Mr. Customer, are you having problems with your bill? Or pwede ka rin magtanong ng optional questions. Mr. Customer, is it your phone, your bill, or your rate plan perhaps? Nag nakikita niyo yung wording ng asking questions dito. So, you are wording, probing, pero hindi lang basta probing. You and then you are also not telling the expert to use open-ended, close-ended, optional or how well what uh, five wise and h. Minsan ganun eh, di ba? Minsan sasabihin natin kay expert, magtanong ka, what? Why? When? Where? Ano pa ba yung, ano? What? Why? When? Who? Who? Ayan, thank you. How? Ayan. So, minsan ganito yung sinasabi natin kay expert. Pero these are the types of question eh. You know, this, these are the types of question. But this, uh, this is not telling the expert what you want them to achieve. No? So, You use the types of question after telling them what you want them to achieve. For example, for this one, ang gusto kong ma-achieve ni expert, ask question to understand the reason for calling. Yun yung gusto kong maintindihan mo. So expert, bahala ka kung paano mo gustong magtanong. Ang gusto kong mangyari, maintindihan mo yung reason for calling. So if the customer says, hey, I have a problem, can you help me? So pwede kang uh, magtanong ng what? What's the problem? All right? Or pwede ka mag-open-ended question. Can you tell me more? Pause muna ako. Nagkikets nyo, guys? Yes, po. Sige, yes, po. Sige, pwede yes. kayong mag-yes. Yes, pwede po. kayong mag-yes. 
And, and, and I hope malinaw siya, no? So, if you give the types, hindi kasi malinaw dito sa types kung ano yung gusto mo mangyari. And thank you for responding, guys. Hindi kasi dito malinaw kung ano yung gusto mo mangyari. So, another way of wording, probing, is something like this. Pero guys, itutuloy ko na to, no? Hang in there na lang. Kapit lang kayo. Pwede naman kayo mag-CR kung gusto niya. Pero, Jeff, uh, roleplay ulit. O kaya popcorn ka naman ng iba pa. Sige. Sige po. Um, popcorn. Si Shania po. Shania! <laughs> May tawa. Yes, po. Shania, hello. So here, Shania. Yes, po. Roleplay tayo mabilis lang. So... Ano, 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 minus na natin yung signature response para hindi na masyadong ano, uh, complicated. So going back, um, it's about asking questions tayo. So here, Janaya, what I want you to do is ask questions to understand the customer situation. No? So, hi Janaya, I want to do a phone upgrade. Respond ka na, sige lang. Wala nang ring-ring yun. Sanaya! Wala, nawala. Sanaya, can you hear me? If you can hear me, I can't hear you. 1-800... Hello? How about... Um... Nawala. Jeff, tinakasan tayo. <laughs> Kuha ang iba. <laughs> Nag-disconnect nag siya. <laughs> si ano po? Si, si Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, are you there? Uy, relax lang kayo ha. Goodness tong mga to. We're not here to ano to embarrass anyone. We're here to learn. So pag nagkamali, it's fine. Kaya nga tayo nag-training eh. Kaya mag-certification. Lauren, sure. nandiyan ka ba? Ikaw ba yan? Yes, I... Mm-hmm. Oh, Lauren, Jim, here's my situation. Ako si customer. Right away, wala nang ring-ring. Hey, Lauren, I wanna get a phone upgrade. Pero what I want you to do is... Ito, ah, yung number two. Oh, Lauren, I wanna get a phone upgrade. Oh, great. What phone would you like to get? There. Lauren, so let's talk. Halimbawa, ako si coach mo. When you ask me what phone would you want to get, did that make you understand my situation? Not uh, really, boss. Kasi Ay, for phone upgrade, we have different type of uh, types of upgrade, right? Tama. So, hindi siya specific. Truths. So, Lauren, here's what I want you to do. Uli tayo ng role play. Pero what I want you to do is ask me a question to understand the customer situation or my situation, okay? Sure. Hey, Lauren, I want to get a phone upgrade. Oh, what happened to your phone? Boom. Guys, check that one out. That is what we mean by ask the customer about their situation. Kasi, Lauren, here's my answer. Oh, you know what? My phone uh, got dropped and then the screen got shattered into pieces. Will you proceed with an upgrade still if I tell you that my phone got a cracked screen? Well, it depends. If the customer has device protection, we can just assist them in filing a claim to the insurance company. Is it safe for me to say that you will look for the best option and not just follow upgrade? Exactly. That's the point. So, minsan yun yung gusto mong gawin ni expert. Alamin niya yung situation ni customer so that they can provide the best solution. Why? Because the customer may not know the best solution for themselves all the time. Kaya nga tayo yung consultant eh. So, this is another way of wording probing. Kesa sabihin mong probing, sabihin mo kay expert kung ano yung dapat niyang malaman kaya siya magtatanong. Was this clear? If you can give me a yes on the chat or ask or say yes. Because I'm going to yes, proceed po. with... Thank you. I'm going to proceed yes, with po. four more. Okay. 
Ayan. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, uh, John. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Was it John? Sino yung kinausap ko? <laughs> sorry, nalito na ako. Uh, Lauren po. Lauren, Lauren, get someone. Nandiyan na ba si Sanaya? Tinakasan tayo. Tawag, kung nandiyan siya. Or get anyone else. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sure. Uh, I want to have JD. JD. John. Yes, boss. So here, I'm typing the third behavior. Ah. Ask question to be. So going back, I just want you to ask question so that Um, you can proceed with the request. So, I will not explain what this is, pero just do on how you understood it, ha? Huh? Yes, boss. Okay. Ay, Shania, joke lang yung tumakas ka. No? Alam namin na nag, nag ano ka, na nag-attempt ka lang tumakas. Ah, no, 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 hindi ka nag-attempt. Nag-switch ka <laughs> So, <laughs> John, here. Um, hey, John. Hello. Good morning. I want to make a payment. Oh, that's great, Mr. Customer, that you wanted to make a payment in your account. Um, may I know the reason why you wanted to make a payment? Are you looking for, you know, getting a new phone or upgrade? So, good good point, uh, John. So, when you ask me the reason why I want to make a payment, so you will find out what's my situation. Let's say I will tell you na I want to make a payment um, because I want to be on top of my bill. Pero, what I want you to do is ask a question so that you can proceed with the, the request. What is the customer's request? Um, make, a payment. make a payment. And what should you know so that you can proceed with the payment? Uh, first of all, we need to identify uh, if that will be a payment for EIP or directly to the account. Very good. So, there's so, custom payment. So, that's what I want you to ask. So, ulit tayo. Um, hey, John, I want to make a payment. Okay, Mr. Customer, that's great. But I just want to know if you wanted to process this payment directly to your account to your bill or you wanted to pay other stuff like your equipments. Boom. Pause. Thank you very much, John. I, I hope you get where we're getting at right now. So, halimbawa, si expert, marunong na siya nung number one. If the expert is already good with asking question to understand the reason for calling, when I say reason for calling, basic reason. Is it billing, troubleshooting, handset upgrade? Is it an account change? So, yun yung mga basic reason na gusto mong ma-achieve sa number one. Yung number two dito, ask question to understand the customer situation. Which is ginagawa ni Jan kanina. So, halimbawa, identify na kasi what's the reason for calling? Payment. What's the situation? Because I want to be on top of my bill. Pero alam ko kasi na si expert good na doon. So, ang gusto kong gawin na expert, ask question to be able to proceed with the request. You cannot proceed with the request if you don't ask for the amount. Same goes with the payment arrangement. If you can't proceed with an upgrade if you don't ask for the type of phone. So, inevitable siya. Magtatanong si expert para ma-achieve yung gusto mong ma-achieve niya. So, this is a way of asking questions. no? Of asking questions instead of just putting probing. And this is not done yet. I have one to six of this. Pero magpo-post muna ako. Um, and then we're gonna go on a quick break. But before we do, I just wanna temp check everyone. Are you guys still okay? Kamusta kayo? Nagigets nyo ba? Okay lang ba kayo sa ginagawa natin? Reaction muna. Hindi <laughs> ko kayo nakikita eh. Yes po. Uh, boss, meron pala ang question. Si Sige. Gato. Yes, kasi uh, based kasi sa production per uh, sa observ observation ko and also personally me, na nagkakos pa ako. So, um, ang ginagawa kasi usually is to um... Ano muna, directly assist the customer muna, hindi muna na sila magtatanong. And then, uh, once they are on process na nung, yun nga, processing your request to customer, based dun sa pagkakaintindi nila, dun papasok yung polling question. So, uh, magiging mas effective ba yun? Um, Jeff, thank you for bringing that one out. And what you're doing right now is the best approach. 
So when you say best approach, um, let them do what they're supposed to do, the basic things, and then you add on opportunities specific to probing unti unti, and then that approach can work for the expert. And this approach of one two three can work as well. Pero um, going back, the approach would really depend on what is best. So to answer your question, you, the one assisting, would know best. So kung aling approach yung better. Pero going back. Um, the discussion right now is not really focused on the approach. It's focused on wording the behavior. Ayan. So, dun sa approach, ang, ang sumusupport dyan ang nakakaalam eh. So, kung yun yung best practice mo and it works, makikita mo naman yun. Pero if you want to do it this way, hi hierarchy kasi itong ginawa ko eh. Um, one, two, three. Pero going back, I'm not telling you to do this approach ha. <laughs> so, I'm not really saying to do this approach. Naka, naka hierarchy lang siya from basic asking question to getting more specific. Pero ang focus ko dito is how to word a behavior. Kasi hindi tayo ganito mag-word ng behavior. Pag tinignan mo yung Excel file na nasa likod nitong screen, 408 entries yan. Wala kang makikita kahit isa na ganyan. Kasi binabasa ko siya week after week. Siguro meron mga kaunti, mga 10% na kasi nagbibigay kami ng feedback. Pero going back, ah, ay, did I answer your question? Sorry, daldal ko. Ah, yes, boss. I understand it. Okay. Thank you, John. Hey, if anyone else has uh, uh, a question, please ask. Pero can I get two reactions lang? How do you feel about the discussion? Be honest. I mean, did... How how do you feel about the discussion before we proceed? Um, any two of you guys would really help. Thanks, Kay. Um, I think, boss, it it gives us a um huge realization that it is not as simple as one word. It should be more specific. Though we do have like um, uh, trainings before um, in like we do have our own um, guide or basis for behavior, it still gives us more information of how to properly identify or you know, say that's, that it is a behavior. Thanks, John. Thank you. Um, yun pang gusto nating iwasan eh. If you don't understand the core, the, the structure of a behavior, aasa tayo sa template. Pag umasa ka sa template, pag umasa ka sa nakagawian, and then kukulangin ka. Why? Kasi ang gagawin natin, makikinig tayo ng calls, tapos titignan natin yung template. Tapos, if what we want the expert to do is not in the template, pipiliin natin yung pinakamalapit. Which is wrong. So what we need to do is, after listening to call, describe what you want them to do. And then make it simple, make it specific. No, wag mo lang yan ng subjective words. When I say subjective like ganto, effectively use C2. Magkakandali, chile, chika, if you use words like effectively, efficiently, you know, consistently. Unless lalagyan mo siya ng word na buy. Mamaya na natin paliwanag yun. No? Pero for the meantime, dito na muna tayo sa first part na to. Maybe one more, if there's anyone else. Uh, just let me know if this made it easy, in a way, more specific, kung ano man reaction. Just one more reaction. And then, I'll call. How about, Carla Lu, tahimik mo ngayon na. Dati magulo ka, ba't di ka maingay ngayon? Okay, kailangan may sakit ka ba? <laughs> Uy, Carla, reaction. Question. Ah? Wala kang question. Pero how did you feel about the discussion? Gets naman ba? Hello? Hello, yes, yes. Saka po, yes. Yes naman po ba? Saka mas, ano siya, mas nagiging more specific sa pag, ano, on how you be able to do coaching, especially with our experts. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Carla. So, guys, here, on my clock, it's 9.20. No, break tayo, mabilis lang. <laughs> Ito na, yamang 4 hours naman. Um, so, it's already 9.20 p.m. 15 minutes. Uh, mabilis na 15 minutes lang. Right? So, 9.35. Let's be back 9.35.
Parang extension yun, boss. Anong extension? <laughs> extension yun. 15 minutes. Yun. Solid. Ba't aakit ka ng third floor? <laughs> so, ba? Sige lang, 15 minutes lang. Para going back, the, the sooner that we finish, di ba, the, the, the faster that everyone can go back to their days. Ayan. 15 minutes break lang. And I'll be staying here. I won't be leaving. Kasi nagugutom na rin ako. Pero, ayan. If you guys have any questions, uh, be back at 9.35. Let's have a quick break. Nice, JM. I know. That's what I'm gonna do. Thanks for the suggestion, John. Coffee. This is how I'm gonna do it. Why <laughs> Rowan social pizza? I have to restart my modem po. Converge is acting up. Okay lang siya, Naya. We're on break. And after you restart, you can, you know, you can you can continue. Homemade boss. Mas masarap kaya yun, Rowan. I mean, you can put as much cheese as you want. As much toppings as you want. Ko rin sa kanin. 
dalawang kain. O, di ba? Nagtipin. Hey, if Lizelle, if you if you wanna make sure that you're doing things right, alimbawa sa buhay, if you wanna make sure that you're doing things right, you need a G, a G U, G U, a G U I. Goodness, in spell. A guide. A what? Guide. A guide. Good job, very good. So in life. Ah, uh, eto ah, uh, napagaling naman Jeff. Hindi sasabihin ko pa lang nilagay mo na kasi sasabihin ko in life, no? If if we want to do things right in life, ang guide natin uh, depends on our belief, di ba? Ang guide natin in life um depende if you're a Christian, your guide could be the Bible, di ba? So Para sigurado ka. So, yung definition mo ng right, hindi nawawala. So, thank you, Rizel. Rizel, popcorn sa man. Rowan. Rowan, Rowan. Eh, kaya lang, naabutan kaya ni Rowan yung tanong ko. Hello, can you go off mute, Rowan? Yes, boss. Nanya ka ba? Hello? One more, Rowan. Dito na, boss. Ayan, good, good. Rin, 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 rin. Rowan, what was the thing that you saw on the screen nung nag-jump in ka? Actually, boss, wala akong nagigita sa screen. Nye! Yeah! So, what what were we talking about? May PC ka Kaya ba? Kaya sabi ko. May PC ka ba sa bahay? Meron, boss. Ang kaso, meron, boss. Kaso nga, kanina kasi ginagamit ng kapatid ko. So, what I did, so, ganun ko yun ako. Yung pinapasulot na whiteboard kanina, hindi ko magita. So, nakita ko lang kanina is about yung mga probing questions ba yan? I see. So, Rowan, ganito. Uh, babalik naman ako dun sa PowerPoint presentation na. So, technically, you will able to see. Pero before we do that, tawag ka muna ng ibang pangalan. Ito ay si Carla. Carla! Tahimik eh. Sabi ko na Sa- May sakit ata tong si Carla. Tahimik niya eh. So, hey, Carla Lu. Yes, po. Okay ka lang. Ang behave-behave po today ah. Um, <laughs> question. So, sabi nga ni Rizal, we need a guide eh. No? And then, if you can remember earlier, yung guide natin, yun, yung, yun din yung goal natin eh. So, technically, all our actions should be pointing to that one goal. If you can tell me what's T-Mobile goal. T-Mobile's goal, by the To be famous for Kerpo. Di ba? Napakadali. Good job, Carla. So, can you call someone else? Si ano po? Ate Joan. Ate Joan. Bayan, dapat yung mga unang questions yun sa akin. Bakit hindi ko masagot to? Uy, Joan! Meron na akong sabihin <laughs> sa inyo. I'm not really sure if you guys are all familiar. Ah, uh, Kasi in-announce na yung dalawang bagong SOM eh. 
Alam nyo? Madam Joan. Oo. Yes po, yes po. <laughs> Naalala ko lang kasi your name is, is, it's like Joan. Baka maging SOM ka rin sa future. So, Joanna po siya, boss. Joanna. <laughs> Oy Jeff. Man. Oy, gra- grabe kayo ang kontrahin niyo talaga, no? Kont- kontrahin niyo talaga. <laughs> Ini encourage na. <laughs> so, um, hey John, don't worry naman. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo kayo talaga masyado kayong conscious sa mistakes. Be comfortable with making mistakes na. Um, sabi nga ni ano kanina, famous for care. Um, uh, our guide is to be famous for care. And para if all our actions are to gearing towards famous for care, and eh, very good. Pero hindi lang ganun. Siyempre, we wanna do the right thing. So, what is the right thing to do to be famous for care? We wanna provide overall satisfaction. So, overall satisfaction. Parang yung sa restaurant kanina. Kaya lang, meron tayong simple definition of overall satisfaction. It's considered two things. If we are best in two things, uh, what would those two things be? For overall satisfaction. Experience and resolution. Perfect. John, thank you very much. You can pop to someone else. Bayan. Kasama po ba si Mami J dito? <laughs> hindi, hindi kasama si Mami J. Huwag tawag si Mami J. <laughs> JM. JM. Go up. <laughs> <laughs> narinig niyo po ako? Oo, oh, narinig namin lahat Pati yung TV at saka yung ano. <laughs> <laughs> Ako sa inyo may ingay dito De, Gano'n na lang DM Mag-mute ka na muna Tapos mag-unmute ka na lang Kapag sasagot ka na Ayan, good job So mag-mute ka na muna JM Then mag-unmute ka na lang kapag sasagot ka na um, Here's my question JM Um, overall satisfaction is measured by 2.0 Kahit sa mundaling simpleng-simple lang Experience and resolution Yun lang naman talaga yun eh. Kaya lang yung experience and resolution natin um, Once we provide that to our customers Makikita natin yung results sa customers eh. So what will we see in our customers? No? Makikita natin yung, yung action natin Something visual ah Hindi pa numeric, hindi pa number a measurement that is visual na makikita mo kay customer mo if you're giving them the best experience and then the best resolution the result that you can view your customers will be what? Ito na yung clue na sa webcam kung nakikita mo ako. Na-miss yung last word. Yung last word. Okay, so here. Um, itatype ko rin sa chat. If you provide uh, the best customer uh, customer sa uh, experience and resolution, and if you provide that, you will see the results with your customers. And makikita mo yung results with your customers eh. So, your customers will be blank. That will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ayan na yung clue mo. Nasa chat. So, what will you see in your customers? Yep, of course, uh, our customers will be happy. Uh, we spend longer. Uh, make it easy for them. Okay. Talaga ko nakalimutan yung perfillers na. <laughs> <laughs> Uy, bakap! Um, kaya mo yan, Beth. Bumakap kayo! <laughs> deep in the relationship. Ayun! Oh, deep in the relationship. Hindi ko talaga siya masabi ng kompletong apat. Okay lang, DM. Kaya tayo nag... To, naglo-learning ngayon para we can be reminded and we can recall. So, you can go on mute na. <laughs> so... Going back, we see the results from our customers. Our customers are happy. They stay longer. You know, we lessen their effort. So we, they will tell us that we made things easy for them. And then we deepen the uh, relationship. Yeah. So going back, that's the result that we see in our customers. Eh. So kapag dumadami yung customer natin, nag-stay, tenure nila, tenure rate nila, kumahaba. And then they are give, they are happy about it, you know. Um, that's the result of our action. Pero mayroon pang isang result eh. JM Popcorn Someone, kahit i-chat mo na lang. Oh, 
पॉपकॉर्न सा मन जे रिजेल रिजेल नतावक नहीं आता से रिजेल रिजेल लेके पॉपकॉर्न आई सी सी जान या सी जान दाउ सी जान या अब ना लांग बॉस अब ना लांग ना तेरे पर नतावक थैंक यू जान फॉर बॉल एंड बीरिंग ना सो napakadali naman itong last part na to. Alam mo na yung sagot eh. Sige, sagutin mo na lang. Oo nga. Yung ano, yung metrics natin. <laughs> Thank you, John. Okay na. <laughs> so, going back, y- yung measurement naman um, na, hin- na hindi visible kasi kailangan natin ma-quantify yan eh. Numeric. So, metrics. Okay. Metrics is what we want um, is the measurement of the things that we do. Masusukat natin siya sa pamamagitan ng metrics. But going back, I cannot stress enough. We focus and think. Effort natin, yung utak natin, gagamitin natin siya. Finding out what should be done. No? What should be done is in the circle of control so that we can influence the result, which is the metrics. So, nandyan yung metrics. Tandaan mo, sa coaching, kahit hindi, going back, I'm not telling you na not pag-usapan. Kasi sa coaching, pinag-uusapan ng goals. Pero sa coaching, kahit hindi nyo pag-usapan yung goals, kapag nag-focus ka doon sa dapat gawin ni expert at in mo si expert na lahat ng skills na dapat niyang gawin, kahit hindi nyo pag-usapan yung metrics, susunod yun. Susunod yun. Kapag yung signature response na ipaliwanag mo ng maayos, no? na ituro mo siya ng maayos yung topic na signature at nag-away na yung mga pusa sa labas. Can you guys hear that? May rambol. Oo, uh, may rambol sa labas. Goodness. <laughs> Kanina nga po, naglalandian pa lang sila, ngayon nag-away mo. <laughs> Narinig niyo pala yun. Buisit. Well, anyway, so where was I? Um, <laughs> so, alam mo yun, yung nagtuturo, hindi nangyayari sa office yun eh, nagtuturo kasi bilang may sisigaw ng mga pusa. Um, if nga ituro natin as trainers and facilitators, yung signature response ng, ng buong buo, pati yung core nun na ituro natin, to a point na yung expert natin, pag nag signature response, patok, hindi mo na kailangan i-personalize kasi gets nila eh, alam nila yung gusto mo mangyari. Parang itong probing na to. Pag naituro natin yung probing to a point na naintindihan nila, hindi mo na sila kailangan sila sabihin na uh, you need to use the what, why, how, when. You need to use open edit. No, no, no. Tell them what they need to achieve and let them do it on their own. Kaya they can personalize it. So they understand everything to the very core. If you equip someone with all the skills that they have to be equipped with, kasi kayong lahat are once experts before. And you know how to drive performance. And to be able to drive performance, you learn skills. It's either by coaching or discovery on your own. Or learning from your peers. Pero pag sinulat mo yung skills na yun, inisa-isa mo siya, na describe mo siya ng malinaw, then na equip mo sa expert. Kahit hindi nyo pag-usapan yung numbers, lalabas yun. It will follow. So that's my belief. No? Um, now, it leads us back to what we have on the screen. Can, if you can see um, my whiteboard, and, and Rowan, okay lang yun sa'yo. Kahit, for the meantime, going back, hindi mo siya makikita, uh, we will switch naman sa ano. For the rest, if you can see my whiteboard, can you give me a cake? Haha, <laughs> napin nyo yan. Galing. Natututo na. Okay. So, what we have on the screen are a few samples. no? A few samples. So, and then yung ginawa nating roleplay kangina is also a feedback that you can do for SBS. So, uh, tell the rep, you can ask the customer pag di mo maintindihan. Meron na akong customer before, sabi niya, Hey, Marvin, I wanna, I, I, I wanna come up with a taekwondo hall. Biruin mo ba? Wala pa akong one year sa T-Mob nun. Yung customer ko gustong gumawa ng Taekwondo Dojo. Anong 
na caught off guard ako noon, hindi ko na alam gagawin ko. <laughs> so So, I should have asked questions like great that you wanna come up with a Taekwondo dojo. How do you want me to help you out with your your plans? So I should have asked questions to understand why or how is your concern related to T-Mobile if I may ask? There you go. Ask questions to understand the customer situation. Ano ba nangyayari sa kanya? Ask questions so that you can proceed with the request. Hindi ka makakapag-payment arrangement, payment upgrade kapag hindi mo tinatanong yung mga details. Ask questions, check for customer's understanding. Mr. Customer, you good? Was that clear? Ask customer to confirm your understanding. I, I hope I understood uh, what you're saying clearly. Kasi hindi ka kumikibo, Mr. Customer. So, sagutin mo ako. And then, ask questions so that you can find something that you can relate to with the customer. In short, rapport. Para you, you find something to connect with, di ba? Yun yung mga technical terms eh. Pero if you want to really make it simple, you can word it that way. Oh, is that your dog barking? Or is that your cat? Landing around? Something like that. Good, ano may landing? So, um, that's the last one. You ask questions to um, find something to, you can relate to it. And what you have on the screen is simplifying things. And then ilalagay ko rin siya sa chat board. And then going back, this is recorded... So that you have an example. This is not all, but this is just an example. And you, you might be wondering, why am I hitting really hard with with behavior? Goodness, if you understand behavior, that's 50% of pair or coaching. Napakalaking percentage na nito. Bakit? Eh, kasi this is more than 80% of the site's problem. And why do I know that? Because I'm the one creating and managing the site's performance when it comes to coaching and behaviors. From triad to quad coaching, to all that is frustrating it, it is really frustrating because i have done pair teaching and then miss rich did pair deep dive larney did pair deep dive i did pair deep dive i did pair crash course i did virtual pair and i'm doing simplified coaching and the results are all the same <laughs> It's still an opportunity. Kaya nakaka-frustrate siya. I hope it will not be the same with training. Um, but don't worry. I'm not saying that uh, we'll all be perfect in one day. Um, it's a work in progress. So what matters is you know the situation, the whys and the how, and the core of why we're doing things. So just to simplify, uh, behavior is an action word. It's what we want the expert to do. Because we observed it multiple times that they are not doing it. So we don't tell them what they are not doing. We tell them what they should do. And I can't stress enough that behaviors are action words. I should be um, coming up with an activity. Kaya lang uh, we might not have time. Akala ko kukulangin yung time. Sakto lang pala. We'll proceed na. Question on the screen. Put your answer on the chat box or on the screen. How confident are you? You can put one. Don't be ashamed. You can put zero or negative one. Or you can put six if you want. Or you can put seven, eight, nine, ten. Or you can put class S. Class SS. O kaya S4. O kaya Ultra Instinct if you want. Yan. Bahala ka na. So, where's your confidence level? By the way, can you see my screen? On a scale of 1 to 5. Sige, put lang kayo ng number dyan. Huwag kayong mahiya kahit anong number. To maganda to. May nagput ng line. You can do that as well. Um, so this could be, let me guess. This line could be 3.34. Two. Ang galing sa mga... <laughs> <laughs> Naglulukohan tayo yung pinaggagagawa. May point something. <laughs> so, not confident. 3.53. Okay lang yan. <laughs> ano to? Dito? Dito ka nakapoint? Mali, 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 boss. P- pwede dito. Ganyan mo na lang. Ito ba? O dito? Or, or dito? Dito na lang. Ayan. Uy, panalo, John Ray Papa. Baka naman 6 yan, John. Pwede naman mag 7. Walang ano dito, walang judgmental ha. Rowan, on a scale of 1 to 5, what's your confidence level in pair? Ah. 
in pair, what's your confidence level in pair on a scale of 1 to 5? 1 being the lowest, 5 being the highest. So, lagay mo lang dyan. Okay lang. Sige, relax lang. Gano'n kayong comfortable? Uy, ito pa isa. May lagay pa ng slash dun sa ano. Ay, may question pala ako, boss. Go. So, this question is about confidence with the process or confidence with you doing pair? Pareho. Ayun. Mm -mm. When you say uh, the process, if you know the process, and then you should be comfortable doing it. <laughs> Sige lang. Oh, you can choose one, either. Oh, let's say process na lang, with the process of pair, to make it simple, kahit hindi na action. So, ikaklarify ko lang, kasi di ba we do have the process of doing pair coaching, right? True. And like the effectivity of it, yung parang effectiveness is ah, we're, effective we're, we're not, we're, and all that. We're, we're not measuring effectiveness muna. Familiarity lang. Ah, ah, familiarity. Okay. Okay. Rowan 2.5, thank you. Pasuspend si Rizal. Okay. So guys, thank you for sharing. Um, ang daming check dun sa one. So thank you for sharing your <laughs> your thoughts. Um, thank you for being humble to accept um, where we're currently at and then going back kasi kung kayong lahat i-choose nyo 5 tigil na natin tong conversation na to <laughs> kasi, kasi wala naman palang sense eh, lahat naman tayo kondil. pero going back hindi, tutuloy pa rin natin siya kasi we wanna make sure na um, tawag rito um, we are aligned with everyone actually I'm not gonna do deep dive I'm not gonna do uh, something that is complex. All that I want to do is to simplify things. And how do I simplify things? Sagutin nyo yung tanong na to. If you're gonna reduce the prepare pace into three simple steps, what are those steps? You can go off mute and share. You can type the answer on the chat box. Kung, kung i-reduce mo yung prepare, three steps lang. No? Kasi that's the P and the pair, di ba? Yung prepare. Anong steps yung gagawin mo? Be comfortable with silence. Alam ko yun, maka in-score nyo ako. Haha. <laughs> Boss, um, heads up. Nag-crash daw po yung Skype ni Jeff. Ay, goodness. Abuti na lang Skype. Kala ko, kotse ako, kaya airplane. Kaya nag-crash. <laughs> Crash ka. Sige lang. Don't worry. Thanks for the heads up. With, with, um, Jeff can follow. Dokto, follow na lang siya. Pero for the rest, guys, huwag kayong mahiya. Ah. You can make mistakes. Kahit incomplete yung sagot mo or overcomplete siya sa tatlo or hindi siya critical. Uh, going back. Um, at least let's get five of you guys on the chat box and then I'll proceed. All right. If I get five answers, I'm good. Hula lang. Guess lang kayo. If you don't know the answer, put put you don't know. I, I have no idea. Okay. Pero if you know, kahit manghula lang kayo. Three steps lang. Prepare ha. Going back. Prepare is a coaching model. It starts with preparation. All right. And you might have learned 15 steps. Pero re-redos ko lang siya sa three simple steps. Para hindi natin malimutan. Let's start with the backbone. Walang nagtatype sa chat box. Wala ka... Hindi. Okay! Hoy! Mag-ula kayo. Sige. Game. Kahit shortcut steps lang. O kaya go off mute and then just tell me para hindi na kayo mag-type. Sabihin nyo na lang. Huwag na kayong mahiya. Going back. No one will judge you. I will not judge you. Uh, I hope you guys don't judge each other. No, wag, wag ganun. We're here to learn. We're not here to prove something. No. Or, or, or to be the best of the best. No, hindi, hindi, hindi tayo doon. So, we're here to learn as a team, as a, as a Nalore Katataklark training family. No? Share lang.
Sige na, huwag kayong mahiya. Aabutin tayo ng one May question ako, boss. Okay. Um, how many steps do we really have for prepare? Ma- ma- medyo madami siya. I mean, if I'm gonna go with the process guide, it's 10. Mm. Meron tayong process guide. I'm gonna share that to you later. Pero, I don't want you guys to be process guide dependent. Eh. I want mm-hmm. you to know this by heart. Kaya sinisimplify ko siya. Parang yung behavior. It's an action that you observe as an opportunity repeated on the Should be simple. You know, should not be... Uh, should not be subjective, should be specific, mga ganun. Kasi pag yun nga, pag alam mo yung, um, if you know how the clock ticks, and then most likely you would know how to create a clock. Parang ganun may mentality natin ngayon. Pero thank you for asking the question. Mukhang mahaba yung steps na tinatype. Diyan ah, sabi mo na lang kaya. <laughs> Actually, was nag-iisip lang ako eh. Nag-iisip <laughs> ah, ko ba? Nag-iisip ko ba? Ah, sige, uh-huh. let's, talk, let's talk this through. What are the steps that you remember? Sa prepare. Hali- oh, so, to clarify, kapag coach tayong lahat or trainer tayong lahat and then magko-coach ka ng expert, when you say magko-coach ka ng expert, it will start with, you wanna find out what you want the expert to do to be better eh. Yun lang naman yun eh. So, magpre-prepare ka. So, in your preparation, how will you prepare? Ano yung steps na natatandaan mo? Kahit isa lang or dalawa lang. Uh, sa akin, uh, boss, una is we need to listen to the calls muna ng experts. Okay, we need okay. to observe muna. Okay. And then, um, actually, marami. Sige Mayroon lang, bigyan mo ang pangalawa. Bigyan mo ang pangalawa. Okay, okay. Okay, so, um, next will be yung ano, um, tawag dito, yung previous MIB. Ah, okay. Thank you, John. I'm good with that. Uh, team, I'm good. Don't worry. Going back, if it's incomplete, if it's complete, you know, I'm not really expecting everyone to know completely the answer. Um, kaya relax lang kayo, ha? You can you can type there, I'm not really sure, I don't know. Okay lang yan. Pero, antay natin si Shania. Ano yung tinatype mo? Sige lang. At pinigilan niya yung pagtatype. <laughs> Okay. So guys, I'll proceed na. Here, here are the steps, just to make it simple. So, if you're gonna prepare, you know, what you want to look at is, you want to look at the performance mo na. Alright? Kasi ito yung result, yung end result. Put yes in the chat box if you have heard what I'm about to say. Sabi kasi, start with an end goal in mind. Have you heard about that? Yes, blank slate. Wow, good job. Start with an end goal in mind. So, titignan mo na muna. Ano ba yung measurement, metric, measurement, number, quantifiable result na ma-achieve natin? So, titignan mo muna yung metrics. Kasi yun yung result ng action eh. Pag, pag in-interpret mo yung performance trend, interpreting meaning, hindi mo lang titignan yung result. You need to look at the direction. Unfortunately, I don't have G-Koy with me. Pero I know, uy, bumagsak, may bumagsak, baka bumagsak yan. Jeff, nabagsakan ka ng computer? <laughs> no, wala na si Jeff. Jeff, uy, okay ka lang. So, Okay, guys, here. So, before you do the coaching, or I mean, part of the coaching is preparing. You look at the performance trend. When you say interpreting performance trend, you look at the direction of the performance. Is the direction going up? Is it going down? Is it going... Yeah, where is it going? No? And then, part of interpreting performance trend, you will also look at your community Goals. Ayan. So, meaning, hala, tumatawag si Boss Allen. Saglit lang, ha? Tawag yung SOM Allen. Bossing Allen, balap. Sige lang, sige lang, bossing. Yes, bossing. Okay. 
Ah, uh, ganun yung uh, idea bossing. The idea was supposed to be to continue the learning courses virtually. So, kinuha ko na yung mga schedules nila. So, I'll continue for them to finish. Unless they will go back to the office. So, face-to-face yung maging training nila. Pero kung hindi, virtual namin itutuloy. Hindi lang namin na ituloy lately kasi, yun na nga, nag adjust pa tayo sa coaching, observation, sa kahadel. Pero, I can continue and we will continue virtually. Ayun, napa, napakagandang tanong. Um, bossing, one second. Let me just pull up my calendar. It could be halfway May or third week of May. Ah, uh, uh, Okay. Okay, okay, copy. Copy, bossing. Thank you for the heads up. Copy, copy, bossing. Meron ka doon. Madami, madami, madaming alaya doon. Sina Belinda, Bretren, at saka yung mga kasama. I'll, I'll send the list, by the way. And I'll, Hindi pa. I'll send the progress report. Okay. Copy. Okay. No problem, bossing. Thank you for the update. Okay. Sorry guys, tumawag lang si Bossing Allen, update lang for Empower 2 Because we will be launching Salem daw by June 1 And they'll be needing leaders and managers And so, kaya yan nagtanong sila Ah, guys, can you hear me? Are you guys all back? Can you give me a 1 on the chat box please? Sorry about that Okay, thank you For the rest, just a quick 1, quick 1 on the chat box Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Alright, so going back to what I was talking about uh, interpreting performance trend would mean knowing the direction of the performance. So if you know the direction of the performance of the expert, make sure that you also know the direction of the performance of the community or the market. Because now, right now when we say you are doing good, it doesn't mean that you're already good because you increased. Eh. For example, you had this upward trend. Oh, means an okay na yan. Eh. Pero what you need to understand is yung upward trend mo ba? Okay, kasi compared sa market or sa community. For example, this black one, I'm highlighting in yellow. Upward tong black na line na to eh. Pero if you're gonna look at the, if you're gonna look at the one that I'll put an X mark, ayan. Upward nga yung trend ng black, pero mas mataas yung trend ng red. So meaning, parang kulang pa rin yung naging achievement ni expert doon. So going back, it's just thinking critically. But to make it simple, find the metric focus. Yun lang naman yun eh. What metric would you want to move when you say interpreting performance trend? So find the metric focus. Yun lang. Pag nakita mo na downward trend yung isang metric, di may metric focus ka na. So, the second thing that you need to do is use tools to target calls. So, what do I mean by use tools to target calls? Halimbawa, um, if your focus metric is FCR, so meron ka ng metric na gustong paanda rin, no? So, you don't listen to any calls. You listen to targeted calls. And if you can put on the chat box, what types of calls will you listen to if your focus is FCR. What types of calls will you listen to if your focus is FCR? Perfect. Thank you. So you also answered the question. Uh, the next question. Mind reader talaga. So you also answered the next question. So you focus on callbacks. So that's why you use tools. What tools can you use to get callbacks. Nandiyan si Crest. Pero hindi lang si Crest. Kasi you have tools like very Speech Analytics. No? Nagpro-produce yan ng iba't ibang klaseng numbers or mobile numbers to listen to. Power BI, GCOY, uh, Crest. No? And we also have reports. May mga reports na nagbibigay ng mobile numbers. So yung mga, mga SBS reports. No? So going back. 
You don't just listen to calls. You target calls. No? And you use these tools. It's not random calls. Minimum of three calls, different dates. At least a day or two in interval. Okay? And then the last step is listen to calls. So if you look at the three, these are actions. Interpret my performance trend. Pull up my g -coy. Tingnan my performance. Pili ka na metric focus. Then, Use. Wear it. Use Power BI. Yeah. Pull out these tools para you can get mobile numbers. You need to get mobile numbers or contact IDs. When you say mobile numbers, like you get all the mobile numbers of the callbacks within the past week. No? Let's say, kakuha mo mobile numbers and then listen to three. And then once you listen to three, what is the end result? How? What will you get as an end result in the prepare phase? After you listen to calls, ang ending, you will have A, what? Behavior. Boom. Thank you, John. So that's it. The prepare phase is done in the pair coaching model. Kapag meron ka ng behavior. Yun lang naman ang ending niyan eh. So hindi ka basta-basta... Um, mamimitas ng behavior sa stars o kaya sa sky o kaya sa puno so check the performance get a metric focus Ayan. metric target ano ba yung gusto mong paanda rin saan ba may metric opportunity ayan metric focus saan ba, ba may metric opportunity and then gamitin mo ito saan dahil lesson to calls alright if you guys are good give me a 1 in the chat box or a yes we'll move to the next part Good. Thank you. And then, earlier, we had a question, how many steps daw ba yung sa uh, prepare phase? Actually, um, here's the answer to the question. Actually, we answered the question earlier. What's the end result in the pair behavior? That's the ending. We end up with the behavior. I'm not really sure if you're familiar the, with the behavior simplification process guide. Yung Behavior Simplification Process Guide, uh, process guide siya na PDF and at the same time, meron siyang Excel file na drop down na mga templates ng behavior, mga pagpipilian. This is how it looks like. How to identify behavior step by step. That's step 1 to 10. Kinot ko na lang. No? Pero going back, how to identify a behavior step by step. You know, that is the um prepare piece yeah if you want to understand pair as a coaching model prepare is the step by step how to identify a behavior yun lang siya pero instead of you following 15 steps you can make sure that you be mindful of the three steps eh. no kasi halimbawa re review community and market opportunities ay na nakalagay dito eh tingnan niya so it says here Review market community opportunities. Look at top three metrics in the past. Granting given na yan, eh, yung parang sinabi ni John Kangina, you will look at the previous behaviors. Eh. So, pero to simplify, yun na nga. You can make sure you can follow all these. Eh. Pero for starters, you can focus on the three. I'm not saying not to follow this, pero going back, um, in, in instead of us getting confused and not really knowing what are the backbone steps, might as well remember the three steps that we have. And then, there, step number 10. Once you have behavior identified, you're ready to spark action. Meaning, spark action. Uh, let's get someone. Uh, nandyan ka pa ba? Rowan, nandyan ka pa ba? Don't worry, even if you don't see the screen, I'll just ask you something. Once you're done with prepare and then you have a behavior, when you need to, sabi dito sa screen, you need to spark action. What is this step in pair? When you say spark action, is it the P, the A, the I, the R? P? A. 
Pwede ka manghula, chill ka lang. So, the answer is A, and you're correct. Kasi once you're done with prepare, you're done with the P, and then the next thing is the A, which is act. Act is spark action. No? So, that's the next thing that we will do. Guys, have any questions? If none, uh, just put there a thumbs up in the chat box if you don't have any questions. If you have any questions, do sa prepare. Um, just ask the question right away. Okay? Just ask the question right away if you don't if you have any questions. Because we're gonna move to the next piece na. Our our next piece is ay by the way, hindi pa pala. May sample pa pala tayo dito. Probing questions specific to the acts by asking the customer why they want to cancel the service. This is one example that I was able to pull up doon sa reports, no? sa coaching reports. May coach na sabi niya, ang behavior ni expert is probing question to ask specific, um, probing question specific to the acts by asking customer why they want to cancel the service. If, if you ask me, if I ask you if you understand this, it's clear you know, as to what they want to do. Um, but we can simplify this further. How can we simplify this further? Um, we could just put this one. Ask customers why they want to cancel their service. I mean, you will not ask the customer if they want to cancel the service if they're not asking to cancel it, right? So, there are things na, ayan, asking customer why they want to cancel the service. Simply lang. Kasi siguro tong costing expert na to, pag may nagsabing cancel, cancel lang kagad, cancel lang ng kagad. So, this first part is not really necessary na. Bakit? Meron ka ng probing, meron ka bang asking, doble-doble. Okay? And then, simplifying it further, yeah, ask the customer why they want to cancel the service. That's that's how you can put it that way. Kaya lang, you can see na we're not really used to, you know, removing the word probing. Palaging may probing, palaging may mga jargon, acknowledgement, empathy, rapport, um, and all those jargonish things. So, going back, you can always simplify a behavior uh, by putting there the right words. Um, do you guys know this coaching documentation form? Is if you're familiar, just put yes on the chat box. If not, put no. Are you familiar with this MS coaching documentation? No. Okay. 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 So I'll discuss this later. All our coaching in the site right now is no longer being done in ECFR. All coaching. So, if someone does pair coaching, the coach should log it on the MS form that they're now using. So, Marv, paano yung ECFR? We're using ECFR for non-pair coaching. If you're gonna coach someone for tardiness, absenteeism, personal matters, or other things, if you're gonna document something other than pair, ECFR. Pero pag pair, may MS form tayo. And the MS form is also a guide for us to understand the pair model as well. I'll just share it to you later. No? Pero going back, that is the prepare phase. Act. Going back. Who's familiar with that? What's your confidence level understanding the act phase? 1 to 5. Confidence level understanding the act phase 1 to 5. Or kaya 0 to 5. Understanding the act phase, 1 to 5, 1 being the lowest. Nakakatuwa to, tatambling kayo after you understand the act phase. Kasi, um... I pre predict ko yung magiging reaction nyo. Your reaction after that phase could be, yun lang pala yun. Check natin ha. So after the preparation phase, you need to do the act phase. And, and to make it simple, the act phase is spark action. When you say spark action, what will you do so that the expert will start doing what you want them to do? Anong gagawin mo para gawin ng expert yung gusto mong gawin niya? In Tagalog, yun. What will you do? Or ano gagawin mo para gawin ni expert yung gusto mong gawin niya? If there's anyone who can share the answer. It's very practical, very simple. It's even in Tagalog. 
Anong gagawin mo para gawin ni expert yung gusto mong gawin niya? What will you do so that the expert will do what you want them to do? Sige, answer. Create an action plan? Pwede. Actually, John, uh, this is proof na yung, al- alam mo yun, yung intellectual talaga eh. We're really thinking ng mga strategies and planning things out. Pero minsan, ang drawback niyan, we miss on the simple things eh. So, if I'll, I'll make it simple again in the galog, kung meron kang gustong gawin sa expert, ano gagawin mo para gawin niya yung gusto mong gawin niya? So, let's get one more answer and get a commitment. And good job din yan sa Naya eh. Napaka-process niyan oriented at saka ano siya, uh, yung the way that we really do things eh. Pero, yung sinag- yung sagot ni Kay. Oh, <laughs> go, jo- sige, go. Sino yun? Sige, sagot ka. Ah, si Jan, Master. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, saan, boss, ano, um, tawag dito, uh, we need to get as well, or we need to identify first kung naiintindihan talaga ng expert, and also ask their opinion kung how they can make things better on their own. Perfect. Para kukunin natin yung pinaka-opinion nila. Oo. Uh-huh. And then, papagawa natin sa kanila yan. Absolutely. Jan, Jan, huwag ka muna ngalis. So, kukunin mo yung opinion nila um, doon sa pinagagawa natin sa kanila. Pero bago mo makuha yung opinion nila, what's your first step? If you want, uh, we need to wait. Ay, sorry. Uh, if you want them to do what you want them to do, ano yung unang mong gagawin? Uh, of course, we need to make them realize na yun talaga yung kailangan gawin. Pwede. Matindi yung sinabi mo John, no? So, eh, thank you, John. It actually will start with, eto, mapapatambling kayo sa sagot. Tell the behavior. Basta ko muna na sabihin. Ay. May <laughs> sasabihin <laughs> <laughs> na ko, eh. <laughs> Sige, May sabi ako, pero malilihak ay idea. I was just gonna say, show them how to do it. <laughs> ah, pwede. Alam mo, uh, John, yung sinasabi mo at yung sinasabi ng iba is only proof na advance tayo mag-isip in a good way. When I say advance, yun na nga eh, meron kang gaining commitment, making them realize, checking for understanding, showing them how. Na- napakagaganda ng mga ideas nyo. Going back. And please don't forget what you have said, no? Oo. Oh. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan. Boss, isa pa po. Oh, sige, go. Pinapasabi po ni Jeff, um, ano? simply tell them what they need to do. Ayun. <laughs> Nag-crash daw ulit. <laughs> Ay, y- yun, yung, yun yung nandito. Eh. Yung sinabi ni Kay at saka yung sinabi ni Jeff. So, going back. Kasi, meron ka ng behavior, eh. Yung behavior, di ba yung behavior what they need to do yun, eh. It's a behavioral opportunity, something that they don't do. So you can tell them, no? Tell them, simply lang. Paano mo sasabihin? Chat mo, message mo, kausapin mo. No? Pero that's the simplest way. If you want to make it ano, um, better, you can make them realize, halimbawa mag-call listening kayo. No? Pero hindi muna tayo doon. Doon muna tayo sa pair muna, yung P-A-I-R. So to make it simple, Give the expert a chance to explore. Halimbawa, sasabihin ko kay John, John, I want you to start asking customer about the situation, ha? So yun, gagalang ka lang, simple. Eh, siyempre, after I tell them, hindi pa yung tapos doon. Three steps to, eh. Check muna kung naintindihan nila. Do you guys remember yung, yung role play namin ni Jeff? ni John at saka ni si Lauren may yung kanina nalimutan ko na nag, nag-usap tayo ng probing if you remember di ba when they did it first I asked them did your question made you understand the situation and then ang sabi no I see okay so start asking me question for you to understand the situation and then nag role play ulit yung buong role play na ginawa namin kanina act face yun Check for understanding and then gain commitment. Ulitin natin to. Ah, sino bang pwede? Jeff, nandiyan ka na ba? O nag, nag-crash ka pa rin? Sino ba? Rizel, nandiyan ka? Po, yes. Ah. Rizel, roleplay tayo. Mabilis lang. Ha? So, ala akong timer eh. Pero 10.31 na. Rizel, here, you know what? Um, I'm really happy that you're already done with what you have to do before. When I told you, you tell the customer how you care for them and you're already doing good. Um, 
and it's showing on your app scores eh. You already know how to comfortably tell them that you care for them. Are you ready for your next milestone? Or next next focus? Ready ka na? Yes. Ah, Rizal, here's what I want you to do. Ah. What I want you to do is start asking questions. You know, so that um you can be sure that the customer understands you. Did, do you know how it's done? Asking questions so that you can be sure that the customer understands you. Can you give some example? Sure, sure. For example, um, hi Rizal. You know, now that I was able to provide you the bill breakdown, um, I'm just I'm just sure if we're in the right page. Were you able to get it all? Did it answer your question? Mm. Nagets mo siya, Rizal. Parang nag-check ako for understanding sa'yo as a customer. If nagets mo yung explanation ko. Let me try it one more time, Rizal. Uh, Rizal, earlier, you know, when you were asking me the steps on how to create a payment arrangement online, so I was able to give you the step-by-step. But I just want to be sure, were you able to get it all? Was it clear? Yes, it's clear, boss. <laughs> It's your turn, Rizel. Now, let's say the situation is um, you gave me the advisements for payment arrangement that it cannot be deleted, rescheduled, and all. Now, so you already did that to me. Now, I want you to ask me questions if I understood you. Okay. Um, it's payment arrangement, right? Yep. Okay, so I was able to provide you the um, payment arrangement um, advisement, but before I proceed, um, I just want to check, do you have questions or is everything fully understood? It is. Thank you. Okay, good. So we're now going to proceed to your payment arrangement. Okay, stop muna, Rizal. So right now, I told you what you're supposed to do, all right? Mm -hmm. And then we were able to make sure that uh, you understand it. Um, after this conversation, can you apply what I told you once you take, uh, once you go to your station and take calls? Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, Rizal. Cut. Sure, Paul. So we started 3.31. It's now 3.34. Cut 3.34 lang. So it's like around 2 to 3 minutes lang. And that's the entire act phase. Yun na. So, ano na confidence level nyo ngayon sa act? <laughs> cool. That's that's basically it, no? So, you you tell the cost, you tell the expert. You tell the expert. Oh, like what I mentioned, sasabihin nyo, yun lang pala yun. That is literally the act phase, no? You tell the customer, um, I'll show you later on a scoring guide that Miss Rachel Tungol or Ramos may, uh, created on how we score the act phase uh, emerging, effective, and advanced. No. So, sample lang natin to. Rizal, since you're already done, uh, K, can I get you K? Here's what you're going to do. Um, you're going to do the act phase you're gonna tell me a behavior and then you'll check for my understanding and then you gain my commitment. You gain commitment simply lang. You don't tell them na, hey, I want you to commit. No. Just tell them that, uh, will you do it? Can you do it? Is it possible for you to apply it later? Mga ganong lang bagay. You check for understanding. You don't really need to tell them that, do you understand? You role play nyo siya maigsi lang just to be sure that you see what you expect them to do. Ganun lang siya. Going back, it should not be 15 minutes. It should be, minsan nga, 1 minute 43 seconds lang yan. Eh. Mabilis lang yung ganyan. So, okay, sample lang natin. Ha. Um, think of any behavior. Isip ka lang kahit ano na gusto mong gawin ko. And then, you tell it to me. And then, let's do a quick role play. Paggawa mo sa akin. And then, ask me to gain commitment by asking me if I can do it. Okay? Ready? Alright. Yes, sir. Game. Alright, 
as I observed that uh, whenever you try, I, I mean, whenever you take a call, you don't. Relax, um, relax, I, <laughs> I don't. Chill, chill, relax, lang. As I observe when you are taking a call, uh, you don't. Um, ask the question. I, I mean, you don't. Uh, um, you don't ask the customer what is the specific question. Like for example, um, <laughs> relax lang eh, relax lang. So what you want me to do is to ask questions. Para ano yung magigets ko? Yeah. Yung issue nila, yung situation nila, o yung reason. Anong gusto mong alamin ko don? Recent for calling. Recent, okay. Sige. Actually, uh, recent for calling. Okay. So, you want me to ask questions to understand the reason for calling? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marvin, actually, uh, I listened to your call and then I observed, I listened to your three calls, actually. And I observed that you're not asking the question, uh, I mean, you're not um, asking what the reason for calling um what is the reason for calling uh, to the customer in able for you to get the target or the real um, the real um, uh, reason why the customer is calling? So um, can you provide me some you know action for that? Uh, can you able to do that on the next call that you need to ask a proving question? Like for example, um, uh, you need to uh, if in case. Um, that you need to paraphrase the question or um, to get the understanding uh, of the customer uh, so we can able to target the reason for calling. Can you do Good that job. for me? Next sure, time? okay. So, chill ka lang, ha? Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, I know that's na spotlight, pero don't worry. Okay lang yan. At least, um, it allows me to to see kung ano yung nasabi ko na baka hindi malinaw. Um, I, I'll be able to provide feedback. So, Hey, thank you, okay? All, all the aspects are there. You told me the behavior to ask question. I uh, asked me if I understood it. And then, um, yung tatlo. I mean, if I can do it. So, um, one thing that we can do as an approach would be, it's okay not to tell them what they did not do. Pwede na yun. Kaya yung behavior, halimbawa, uh, hindi natin siya nilalagay sa itmis na not asking question. Eh. So, we don't really tell them what they did not do. We just focus on telling them what they should do. We just tell them that, hey, Marvin, I want you to ask, start asking questions, you know, and so that we'll understand the customer's issue. Um, can you do that? Pag sinabi kong yes, can you show me how? <laughs> Ganun lang. Can you show me how? Yeah. Sure, like this one. I'll, I'll start demonstrating na nun. Hi. Pero, um, good job, Kay. Can you popcorn someone? All right. Um, JM. JM. Oh. <laughs> okay lang yan. Maingay pa ba yung ano, background? Uh, ne, okay lang, okay lang. So, thank you, K, JM. Um, <laughs> going back, this might be new for everyone, kaya magdodwell muna ako dito ng konti, no? Kasi almost everyone was a 1 or a 1.5. Um, so, practice in lang natin siya. Going back. No, no, no intent of ridicule or spotlight, nothing. Don't be ashamed to make mistakes. Going back, um, we are here to learn, and if I provide feedback, yun lang naman, kumatandaan natin siya. So here, uh, think of a behavior, JM, that you want me to do, and then tell it to me. Make sure that I understand it by making me do samples or role play, and then um, make me commit by asking me if I will do it. Sample lang, based, based on what you understood. Um, I'll be the expert. Go. Okay. So, as we listen to your call, uh, three calls that we have, so we you know, tend to um, miss um, acknowledging our customers every time that we are taking calls. So, uh, what we, what I wanted you to do is, of course, um, you know how you know how how, how the importance of acknowledging our customers' effort, right? So at least uh, we can go ahead and um, get gain trust, trust of the customer. 
on the first part, and that will improve the GFI uh, impressions for our customers, right? And of course, um, that somehow will, uh, you know, uh, will help you as well to easily uh, get the buy of the customer. <laughs> okay. Sakat na. Okay. Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and, and uh, make it as a um, the simple uh, or role play, the role play. Sure. So okay. So let's go ahead and start. So ring ring. Hey, my name is Marvin. I will be your expert for today. Help help you. Hey Marvin, I've been calling for I've been waiting for the uh, forty minutes just to get a uh, eight percent of them. I need some assistance. Oh goodness, forty minutes! That's almost an hour lost in your time. Um, no worry, John. I'm gonna make it up to you. I'll make sure every minute counts from this point forward and make this call worthwhile. Is that fine with you? Yes. And there you go, Marvin. See uh, the difference of acknowledging our customer's effort for waiting the line. If I were your uh, customer in that situation, definitely um, the trust will be, uh, or I'll have a trust in you. Okay. So, yep. <laughs> Thank you, JM. You can go on, you can go on mute now. <laughs> so, Right now, what I really like about what you did is the what, what, why approach. Eh? I mean, uh, what you did good, what you should do, and why you should do it. Uh, you, you, you were able to explain that uh, um, this will actually help us in getting the customers buy-in for them to trust us more. You can definitely do that. Uh, tell them what they did great. Tell them what's their opportunity and why is it important. No. So, uh, for checking for understanding, you did the role play, which is really, really good. Yung last part lang yung gain commitment. Um, which is as simple as just telling them that, um, for example, uh, hey, John, you know, I've listened to your calls and it was really good. You're doing really great at this part. Uh, what I want you to do next is to tell the customer how, um, how you appreciate their effort. When I say appreciate your effort, um, if they have waited on the line for a long while, instead of telling them, I'm sorry that you're waiting, tell them that thank you for waiting on the line for a long while. Parang ganon. So going back, tell them how important it is for you, you know, how their time is important for you. So going back, that's what I want you to do. Huh? Tell them that your, their time is important to you. Can you show me how? And then pag pinakita niya sa'yo kung paano, can you start doing it? Yun lang parte. Eh. Can you start doing it later? Once you get back on calls. Yun ay pinaka-commitment niya. Kasi ang pinaka-maganda dito is you told them the behavior and you have seen that they can do it. If not, katulad ng Kerisel, tinuruan natin kung paano gawin. And then nag-commit. With those three things, dapat wala nang sit-down coaching. And I hope, you know, that might be new to you, and, and Shania, just give me a, a second, pero I'll get you next. Pero I just wanna emphasize on this part. Sit-down coaching for root cause analysis, which is influence, is not always necessary. After you do the act phase, and then you do SBS after, like 1, 2, 3, 4 SBS, and then ginagawa naman yung behavior, and they congratulate, mag-celebrate, done na. Next behavior na. Wala nang sit-down. Wala nang one-hour root cause. Kasi you were able to give the behavior, check for understanding. They can do it. They understand how to do it. And then they gain commitment. They committed. No? And then, after listening, so after ng act phase, mag-SBS ka na kasi nun. No? Uh, absolutely. You will, can we just do fly-by? Yes. Kasi after ng act phase, no, going back, magdo-drawing lang ako ha. So here's how it's done. Ito yung prepare. And then ito yung act. No? Meron yung in-between. So yung prepare, meron ka ng behavior. Yung act, sinabi mo na yung behavior. So, after mo sinabi yung behavior, iba-validate mo yan. Mag-hit miss ka. Check, check. Ayan, hit miss yan. Check, check. X. And then, let's say, check, check, X, and then, check, check. Halimbawa, naglisan ka ng limang calls. And then, you have decided na the expert is doing it consistently. You don't need to sit down anymore. You congratulate the expert, graduate ka na, good job, let's move on to the next behavior. 
prepare ka na ulit nun. Uulit ka na sa prepare after nung multiple SBS. Alright. I hope you get that. If you have any question, ask right away. Um, pero, Shania, game, can you go off mute? Boss question. Question muna, bago Shania, go. Boss, uh, dun sa isa prepare preparation, dun sa uh, checking of trend sa, ang tawag uh, performance trend, interpreting performance trend. So, di ba sabi mo, boss, dapat we just focus on one metric as much as possible. Uh-huh. Pero, pwede rin ba yung, let's say, di ba, merong mga metrics po kasi na they, they parang, they go along uh-huh. together. Golden, like, golden say, trend. Yeah, parang uh, up and NPS, they go along. So, can we also, like, do that? Yep. Parang, if, they, if it's impacting to them, halimbawa, baba talaga NPS nila or or let's say con- contrasting Maba- mataas yung NPS mataas yung up pero mababa yung NPS can we target both like um, parang ganun boss pwede <laughs> point ba po pwede yun uh, Jeff so going back in targeting metrics you know uh, metrics kasi intertwined yan eh I'll just explain next time yung golden thread eh. meaning if, if the customer is happy sometimes you make them happy because you did things efficient meaning walang nasayang na oras. So, sometimes, yung happiness ni customer correlated sa CRT. Minsan naman, yung happiness ni customer correlated din sa completeness ng solution mo. Like sa restaurant. Kung yung binigay mong steak sa kanila, talagang yung steak na favorite nilang gustong-gusto nila up to the very last pepper drop, eh di, hindi na sila magpo-callback. So, meaning, um, intertwined ang metrics. So, if the metrics are related, and then yung isang behavior mo tumatama doon sa dalawang metric, okay lang naman yun. So, pwede naman siya. Good question, Jeff. Now, Shania, game. Pwede ka na? Sige po. You can go off mute, and then, um, once you're ready, begin ka na kagad. I'll be your expert. Game po. Game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right, um, there you go. So, uh, Marvin, um, one thing that we can start um, to do on your next call is to make sure right, that we can ask questions to confirm your understanding with your customers, especially with your advisements, all right? All right. All right, there you go. So, um, is this something that we can do once you go back to your station and take your next call? Simple, really simple, boss. I can do that. All right, so let's start. Good job, Shania. <laughs> so, eh, alam mo, what I really like about that is the first part and the third part. Napakapanalo niya. Yung second part, you did check for understanding as well. Pero yung tip lang natin, this goes for everyone, ang tip natin is, don't take yes for an answer. So, pag sinabi niya na yes, I can do it, um, hindi sa wala tayong tiwala sa kanila. Kaya lang yung interpretation nila ng understanding can be different. It can be Yes, their own way. Pero you have your way na na-observe mo eh. So, para sigurado, have the expert show it. So, ganito siya. Para, um, can you ask the cost, ano yung sabi po? Um, check for the customer's understanding when you give advisements. Can you show me how that is done if I'll be your customer? Kahit ganun lang. Gusto mo or ulitin how would it sound like? Oo, uh, how it sound like. Ulitin natin na. Sige po. Game. Ready, set, go. All right, there you go. So, uh, Marvin, one thing that we can start like to do on your next call is to make sure that we ask questions to confirm your understanding with the customer, especially with your advisements. All right, um, um, is this something that you can do? Sure, that's really easy, bossing. I can do that right away. Well, uh, perfect. So, if that's gonna be easy, can you like at least um show me how would it sound if you're the expert? Uh, sure. Uh, you said advisement, no? So, um, uh, Shania, uh, now I told you earlier that your payment arrangement cannot be deleted. It's something that you cannot be can't be moved. We can change it after I save it. So I just want to make sure that you got that. Was that clear earlier when I mentioned it? Is that right. ganun ba, okay. boss? 
Yes, that's actually um, a good one. So, I want to make sure um, on your next call, once you go back to your station, there's something that you can start to do. Alright? Got it. Thank you, Shania. Wonderful. Alam mo, good job ka dyan, Shania. That was just one minute. So, um, going back, uh, the act phase is like that. Uh, and what I want you guys to know is, um, it's not always necessary to change a behavior by sit down or root cause analysis. Okay? So, um, goodness, akala ko di natin mauubos yung time. Mauubos pala natin. Sorry guys, ha? pero I hope everything is clear and I hope I'm adding something uh, new to everyone. Na? So, I'll just continue with a bit more. Review is perfectly easy to understand. Pero ito, nag ako sa act. Because it's something that might be new for everyone. Now I'm pulling up the whiteboard because I want to draw something. And let me draw this. In the prepare phase, you already know, the ending is having a behavior. In the act phase, this is as simple as telling the behavior, check for understanding, and then gain commitment. Ganyan lang naman yan. Eh. And then, in between... Yeah. In between, we will be listening to calls. You know, when we listen to calls, we wanna check if the behavior was done. Was the behavior done? Was the behavior done? Was the behavior done? If the behavior is being done, and then there's really no need to sit down and coach the expert. Yeah. But here's the tip, guys. Uh, pay attention for this tip. When you listen for calls. Sometimes you don't just get one behavior. Agree, disagree. Sometimes it's not just one behavior that you get. Do you agree or disagree? Agree po. Agree, boss. Agree. Minsan sampo, minsan lima, minsan madami. No? So when you listen to call, sana may notebook ka or notepad ka or something to write things with. So halimbawa, may nakita ka behavior, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. And then, second listening ng call, isa, dalawang behavior. And then, isa, tapos, sampung behavior. And then, yung pang-apat na call, isa, dalawa, tatlong behavior. Pero here's the catch, guys. Yung first behavior na sinabi mo, na-achieve niya lahat. So, if the first behavior was achieved, and then this thing that you want them to do was done, eh di very good. You don't need to proceed with I. But why did I write it down still? Because I want you to know that you still have these other behaviors. Pano kung sinabi ni expert na coaching na kayo, nag sit down kayo, nag sit down kayo to influence, pero not to do root cause. Nag sit down kayo sinabi mo, hey, you know what, Shania, I'm really happy that you were able to do what we are, what we agreed upon. It's perfect actually the the it shows on the results the numbers moved and now i want to give you a 15 minute break focusing on your career since you want to be a trainer i'll partner you with jeff and observe what she what he does and, and maybe one day you can learn from him and get back to me after 15 minutes so the reward mo siya e sabi ni expert no marvin i want to know my next behavior oh yan yung next behavior mo so, since nakaredy ka na, kasi itong mga other behaviors na to, para na rin siyang prepare. What do I mean by that? Para siyang prepare. Di ba in prepare, you do call listening din? So, kung nag-call listening ka dito, nag-call listening ka naman dito, apat na calls pa nga eh. So, you can use the behaviors identified here if the experts ask for it. Parang itong call listening mo na in between is already the prepare phase. I'll pause. Was that clear? Allah, sorry, JM. I'll, I'll repeat naman in a bit. Clear naman sa atin. Make sure clear. Guys, magtanong kayo pag malabo ah. O kung may gusto kayong i-confirm na understanding nyo, ask questions. Boss, just to clarify. Yan, yan. Gusto ko yan. So when we do prepare, it's not just for we're not targeting one behavior. Parang meron tayong backup plan. Ah, ganto Is siya. Is that right? Ganto siya, John. When you do prepare, you only have one behavior. 
Okay, so ito ah, mm-hmm. you see the green lines on the, no? Ayan. One yes, behavior yeah. lang siya when you do prepare. After you do act, di ba mag-validate ka itong listening to calls, itong binabox ko na to? Ayan. So pag nag-listen to calls ka, minsan may maririnig ka rin na ibang behavior. So pwede mo siyang ilista. So going back, this is just working smart. Um, so going back to your question, is it required to write the other behaviors when you listen to calls? Hindi siya required. Pero if you want to work smart, pwede naman. Halimbawa, itong isang behavior na to, may nakita ka pang dalawa, pangatlo, pangapat do sa prepare mo, okay lang naman na isulat mo siya. So going back, number one, how many behaviors do we focus on? Isa. Number two, is it okay to write other behaviors that you observe? Okay lang. Pero boss, question, for oh. clarification. Itong mga succeeding behaviors natin isusulat, this is, these behaviors are still tied up dun sa metric na gusto natin i-improve, right? Absolutely. Thank you for asking. Mind reader ka talaga. There's, that's where I'm going. So itong second behavior na to, make sure na tied up siya if not dun sa metric opportunity, sa iba pang metric opportunity. Kaya lang kasi kung itong behavior na to, behavior nga, pero wala naman tinatay up na opportunity. Halimbawa, sales to yung opportunity nito. Eh yung sales ni expert, umaatikabong ang taas-taas. So kahit sales related tong number two behavior na to, hindi mo naman siya ipofocus na siguro, sigurado. So going back, this is not basic pair na. This is working smart na pag sinusulat mo yung added behavior. So going back to your question, Jeff, yes, make sure that the succeeding behaviors that you identify is still related to metric opportunities. So ibig sabihin yan, boss, this other um, uh, behavior, this is along the way na for the specific behavior that you're working on, right? No, no. truth. So going back, after mo binigay yung behavior, nag-act phase ka kasi, di ba? No? After mo binigay yung behavior dito sa act phase, nag-check understanding ka, nag-gain commitment siya. So nag-SBS ka, 1, 2, 3, 4. Habang nag-SBS ka, tinitingnan mo ko yung behavior focus ginagawa. Pag ginagawa yung behavior focus, eh di very good. Ano? So, eh kaya lang tinanong, um, I wanna know my next opportunity. Hindi ibig sabihin na balikan mo ko bu- So kaya balikan mo ako next week, magpre-prepare muna ako ng 2 hours I- Hindi ganun, mas maganda, ready ka na Para consistent yung, tuloy-tuloy yung learning skills ng mga tao So going back, yung iba ayaw nila ng one behavior at a time Kasi nababagalan sila no? Pero that's the best way of learning kasi As per recommended by T-Mobile and scientifically learning na One learning at a time Pero paano siya bibilis? Kung ready ka dun sa mga next learning niya Kasi you work smart eh. Pero basta yeah. ito clarification ko. Go. After siya ng act part. So, sabi mo nga, dapat meron tayong parang behavior back, eh. parang ganun po, di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, is, are these behaviors after the act part na to? Is this still after the same metric? Or, let's say, for example, yung behavior na pinag-out mo na on the prepare part, it it actually help improve the metric. Now, yun, namimit yun yung metric. Can we now move to another metric and another behavior after ng act part? Pwede. As long as what you're targeting are all opportunities. Good? Okay. Thank you, Jeff. I hope it's clear for everyone. Um, you can ask me, we can talk, chat, if it's not clear, if you if you just realize the question after. Pero move na ako dun sa discussion natin. Going back, I'm really sorry. Mag-extend tayo mga 5 minutes lang. Mabilis na mabilis lang. 5 to 10 minutes lang. Akala ko pa man din natin magagamit yung time. <laughs> sorry. Pero, ang ano nyo kasi, ang participative, which is a, a nice thing. You know, it's a really, really nice thing. I appreciate it a lot. Um, mag-move na ako sa next part. You guys have any other questions? If you don't have any question, can you give me a 1 on the chat or a yes? If you don't have any question, move na tayo. All good po. Thank you. Yes, and and by the way, if you say yes or number one, you speak for yourself. Don't kaya kaya sumagot kayo kasi you don't speak for the team. You speak for yourself. Okay, good. Thank you. Hey, Marbs. Hey. Marbs, can you hear me? Yes, Joyni. Yeah, you're done, no? Can uh, I? Joy, pwede mag-extend. Borrow your... 
Sorry? Mag-extend sana ako 5 minutes. Ay, okay. Sige, sige. After mo, I'll, kasi I ask them to stay. I wanna talk to them instead of having a separate meeting on Friday. I can just stay this time and use your room to talk ah, to them. Sure, sure. You. Absolutely, absolutely. Nice. Sige okay. lang, go. Thank you, Joyny. Uy, Wancho! <laughs> Umiyak si baby. Um, guys, let's proceed. Going back, the review part, um, it's just really identifying the metrics ulit. Pero mamaya ako napapaliwanag yun. Pasok na tayo sa influence, ha? So, to make things simple, ay, by the way, ito pala, in the virtual world, how do we do act? Kasi sabi natin, tell, eh. Sa office, we tell the expert, we go to them, we tell them. Kaya lang, virtual world tayo, eh. So, most often than usual, you can use Slack. No. Ito yung sample ng Slack act natin. Sabi ni Coach, I wanna catch you before you take on, go on break and provide you some kudos. You're doing awesome. Sabi ni Coach. Sabi ni Expert, yeah, my active listening has been better. My upper ratings are so positive. Sabi ni Expert. Sabi ni Coach, exactly, you're implementing uh, active listening, addressing the customers consistent. Sabi ni Coach. Sabi ni Expert, uh, I'm ready. Ready na daw siya. Kasi sabi dito, are you ready for that? Yung next focus nila, I'm ready. Tapos pre-nabide ni, ni Dan Barker dito yung next behavior. This is an example of the act phase in Slack. So meaning, doesn't have to be face-to-face -face if you're in the virtual world. At pwede mo pa tong i-copy-paste, pakita mo sa boss mo para ma-observe ka niya in the act phase. Mas koran ka niya. Go Jeff, you have a question? Wala boss, kung saan nag-unmute ng PC ko. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang. So remain unmute para pang nagsasalita ka. Tuloy-tuloy. Uh, So what will we do next after the act phase? You know, ah, the MS documentation. Next time, kana sa sabiin sa inyo, ah, influence. Here's the influence part. If I'll reduce it to three to three steps, eto masaya. The influence part can be reduced to three or one step. Di ba masaya? One step. So after multiple observation and feedback, tanda natin. After ng act part, meron dapat multiple observation and feedback. So, hindi natatapos yung act, ha? Hindi, uh, hindi ibig sabihin, sinabi mo yung gagawin niya, gagawin na niya. No. Observe mo. No. Halimbawa, inobserve mo siya. Tapos, ginawa niya yung kailangan niyang gawin. Ay, ano nangyari? Hala, nawala yung screen. Huwag ka magahang, please! Ay! Allah. Ayun, okay, good Can you guys hear me? Kahit isang yes lang Yes po okay, Can you see the screen then? Yes po Yes po Okay, thank you, thank you Naghang yes, Naghang, okay So here Allah, magklo-close nga ako ng mga Hindi lang, magklo-close lang ako ng mga kung ano-ano Naghahang na yung PC Um ay, kaya naman pala, hindi nakabukas ang fan. Ayan. So here, after multiple observations and feedback, tandaan natin, kailangan natin mag multiple observations and feedback. After the act phase, can the expert display the behavior? Ginagawa na ba niya yung behavior na sinabi mo? If the answer is yes, celebrate success. One step in the influence part. No? Celebrate success. Ginagawa na niya eh. So guys, here, remember, sa act phase, they know what to do. They can do it. They committed. So there's no reason for them not to do what you do. Kasi nag-practice pa nga kayo eh. And then, not only that you practice, you gain commitment, check for understanding. So kapag in-observe mo siya, and the expert was able to do it, let's say, sabi mo five times, check, 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 check. Celebrate success. Pero eto masaya. What if the expert did not do it? First observation mo, X. So what will you do? Don't forget the feedback. Sample lang to, ha. Uh, Jeff, you know what? I told you earlier, uh, yesterday, uh, part of our agreement was for you to ask the customer for their situation. But for this call that just ended, you did not ask for the situation. And that's why you proceeded with an upgrade. 
where they have insurance. You should have told them just to get an insurance claim. What happened? Why did you not prov- ask the situation? Ay, boss, nalimutan ko eh. Ah, okay. So here, post it. Reminder. Second call, hindi na naman ginawa. Oh, Jeff, what happened? You also, the customer, uh, you should have asked the customer what's going on. Kasi, you know what? You should not have just created the payment arrangement. Kasi, they were, based on the notes, they can still pay half of it. They just got disconnected. Oh, why, why did you not ask? Ay, boss, nalimutan ko na naman eh. Oh, ito, mas malaking post-it. Bigyan ka ng kartulina. Ayan. A third time, din na naman, Jeff, oh, what happened? You know, You already have the post-it and cartulina. What what happened? You missed on asking the question for the situation. Boss, makakalimutin talaga ako eh. O, ito, Mem 8 Plus. Inumin mo yan, yung sa buong lata. Okay? And then on the fourth observation, hindi na naman nagawa. No? Jeff, what's going on? Di ba, when we practice, you can do it naman. I'm not sure, boss. Eh. I'm not sure what I... What, kapag nasa call, hindi ko siya magawa eh. Ah, I see. O, mag-sit down na ngayon tayo. Root cause analysis. So, Jeff, you know what? I'm here because um, I want to help. And in order for me to help, I want to find out what's causing the problem. You know, if someone has diarrhea or if someone's stomach is aching, you just don't give them medicine right away. You ask questions so that you find out what's causing the pain. Diba? You agree? So, if that's the situation, you find what's causing the problem so that you can hit it from there. So, Jeff, I'm going to ask you a few questions. I hope you don't mind now. Ah, my my intention is not to interrogate. My intention is to find out what's causing the problem. Ah, so Jeff, after our practice and agreement and four times of observation, we were not still able to ask questions. Eh? I just want to understand. Can you tell me why you were not able to ask those questions? Now that we're sitting down, we have time. Let's talk about it and work together. Okay? Pause. Guys, did you get that? Yes, yes, boss. So basically, boss, is this the time that we're going to check if it's skill or knowledge? Oh, yep. true. Is it a skill? Is it a belief issue? When I say belief, yung paniniwala niya. When you say skill, kulang sa kaalaman. Kasi yun nga, yung actions na pinuprovide natin. Uh, it can be a skill situation, you need to teach them. It could be a belief situation. They believe that what they're doing is right. It could be a mental situation, uh, makakalimutin. It could be an attitude situation, ayaw gawin. So, aalamin mo yan. Kasi nakakapagtaka na eh. No? Nag-act naman kayo. Expert can do it nung practice. Pero nung calls na, no? hindi nagagawa. And going back, you gave them multiple feedback. Ha? You, you did your part, you gave them multiple feedback. Kumbaga sa tao, parang na... Ano, ano nagyayari? Ba't ganun? So, na practice mo naman. Finid ba ka naman? Tinuruan naman kita. Binigyan pa kita ng mga kartulina, ng post-it, ng mem aid plus. Tapos, hindi mo pa rin magawa. So, since yung question na yon is a question that cannot be solved in 3 minutes of feedback, kailangan nyo mag-sit down. And one thing that this is different than this sit down is, hindi kayo nag-call listening. So, going back, hindi agad-agad call listening ang sit-down coaching. Kaya siya natatapos within 15 to 18 minutes to 20 minutes. Kasi your purpose is just to find out why is the expert not able to do what we practice to do? No? So, kailan ka magkocall listening? Pag sinabi ni expert, boss, ginagawa ko naman eh. Pag dininay niya, play the call. Pero pag hindi dininay, and then work, work, work on it. Questions, feedback, game, reactions. Was it good? Did you understand? Can you do it if I ask you to do it na? Or, uh, pero, was it clear? Would you like me to do another demonstration? Sige lang. Be specific. Type nyo lang sa chat box. Okay, go unmute. Sabi nyo lang sa akin. Kung merong malabo, malinaw, surprising. Clear naman po so far, boss. Clear naman. 
Uh, who's who's that by the way? Jo- who's that you, Joan? Joan is for. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the rest, how does this make you feel? Um. Well, it 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 makes me feel um easier to identify. Like um with the root cause analysis, it sometimes because I'm guilty about it. Um, like um. When we identify like a uh, behavior, um, we just say you should have done this instead of really uh, getting to the to the bottom of it. Yung parang uh, we treat it as our customers. Yung whenever we want to resolve their issues, we um, get to the root cause, yeah. and it it's what what is make me making me realize. You know what, Joan? Now I hope you guys see why we were talking about the core. What is the why behind the action? Ano bang reason bakit ginagawa niya ginagawa niya o bakit hindi niya ginagawa yung dapat niyang gawin? Shania, can you go off mute? Sample coaching tayo. Ako si coach. No, ikaw si expert. Sample coaching lang. One more demonstration lang. Ha? Okay. Hey, Shania. Good morning. Morning, boss. Hey, Shania, you know what? Um, going back to your previous uh, achievements, I have here a list of all the things that you did that we worked together on and I'm really proud of and happy about. Just want to let you know that you are now this far in achieving your goals. Meron na tayong limang behavior na achieved for the past week and I'm really happy about that and I hope you're happy too. Yes, po, boss. Definitely. And you know what? Um, thank you for saying that, Shania. And there's just one other thing that we need to focus on right now. Because um, the behavior that we're working on in the past two days, unfortunately, we were not able to do. I hope you remember that we were giving, uh, we were given feedback. And I, I, I have written it down and I mentioned that you should tell the customer that you care for them. However, for times, we were not able to do so. And I already gave you the feedback. We practiced it. Um, can you tell me why you were not able to tell the customer that you care like more than four times now i just want to help by the way please please don't feel bad if i'm asking questions okay i just want to help and find out what's causing it okay yes boss uh, i'm not sure pop. maybe i dwell too much po with providing the resolution that i tend to you know forget to um check my customer from time to time like i see Question, Shania. So, why do you dwell on the resolution too much? Do you not find telling them you care as important as the resolution? It's um, important, naman, boss. Pero kasi what I'm thinking po is um, the customers are in a hurry. So, um, they might be busy. So, um, they wanted to get the resolution like as um, fast as possible. So, yung po siguro yung nag-drive sa akin. Ah, uh, here. Think about it, Chanaya. I want you to be sure. Eh? So for the meantime, you're not sure. But for the past three calls that we observed, the, the customer was not in a hurry. So, but you were not really telling them from the first part of the call till the last part of the call how much you value them. Like, in your own words, hindi mo sinasabi na uh, this is how much we meet to you. Uh, we just want you to know that we care. Uh, your your situation is important to me. Mga ganun na pinagpraktisan natin before. So maybe there's another reason if you could think deeper. What could that be? I'm not really sure, boss. Okay, so don't worry. I'll I'll give you time, ah. Huh? Boss, thank you, Shania. So for this types of situation, we're doing root cause analysis, huh? So technically, you just don't accept that they don't remember or they're not sure, make sure that they're sure. Uh, if possible, wag mo silang bibigyan ng clue. If they have answers like, kasi ganito, kasi ganyan, i-challenge mo siya para makuha mo talaga yung totoo. Right? This session is not a session for root cause analysis. A root cause analysis discussion could be another hour. I will not dwell on it for today. Pero I hope you get the idea. No? Na you do the sit-down coaching purposefully. The action of sit-down coaching is to find out why. If there's nothing for you to find out, kasi ginagawa naman pala ni expert, 
And then sometimes act phase is already enough. Okay? So, I'll just proceed with two more things and then we're done. Number one, smarter action plan. If you'll create an action plan, remember this, ha? Action plans, it should hit the root cause. You don't just create an action plan. You cannot create an action plan if you don't know the root cause. Sample, if the root cause is personal, health situation, mental, ulyanin, ang, ang solution ay... What's the solution for Ulyanin? Terminate na, boss. Hindi, rem loco reminder. I love you, Jeff. Pwede, Stan. Ano? Ano daw, pwede? Vit vitamins. Pigyan ng vitamins. Yan, no? Vitamins, oh. very good. The point there is, uh, alam mong problema. Baka kalimutin. So, reminder. Paano kung ang problema... Attitude. Ayaw. Alam na tama, ayaw gawin. They admit na tama. Pero ayaw niyang gawin, ayaw niya sa'yo, ayaw niya sumunod. What's the solution? What's the action plan? Papel, boss. Papel Account na, boss. Papel. Very good. Accountability. Na? If ang root cause ay kulang sa practice dahil hindi sapat yung feedback. So what's the solution? Roleplay. As simple. The root cause is kulang sa practice. The answer is practice. I hope yeah. you get the correlation of root cause and action plan. No, You cannot move to action planning without understanding the root cause. Kaya you need to really be good in asking questions for root cause and we can have that on a separate discussion. Pero going back, once you have identified the root cause, once you have done a smarter action plan, and then mag-ESBS ka ulit, titingnan mo ulit kung ginagawa na niya. Kapag ginagawa na niya, papasok ka sa review, titingnan mo kung umandar yung metrics, and then done ka na. Graduate ka na sa behavior. That is fair. Kamusta? <laughs> okay pa kayo? Boss question. Go. Oh. So basically boss the whole process of pair para ma-graduate sa agent, tarang is there is there is an ideal time frame? Very good question. The time frame depends on the type of behavior that you're fixing. There's no boxed unfortunately no ideal time frame as of the moment. Minsan ang ginagawa ng mga tao 3 days para mag-graduate sa behavior. Pero going back, it's not all the time 3 days. Halimbawa, use the customer's name. Kailangan 4 calls lang yun o kaya 5 calls. Hindi yun aabot ng isang araw. Pero kapag um, use the billing dashboard and tell the customer what each charge is all about, makaya, baka hindi lang isang araw yun. Ayan. So, unfortunately... Ang ginagawang practice sa office, 3 days o kaya 5 days. Um, going back, if you put a time frame for it, base it on the skill of the expert, yung pick up niya, yung intellect niya, yung action plan mo. So, kanina discretion, naki trainer sa kanaki coach. If you put a time frame, it's up to you. Just make sure that you know how to explain why you chose the days or the number of calls. Question answered. Yes, boss. Uh, Kasi po, di ba, sa smarter action plan, time bound, andun yung PA, eh, which is time bound dapat, di ba? True. So, is this something dapat na disclose din kay, dapat si expert alam din niya na, oh, so for the next three days, dapat we will be able to um, address this behavior. Oo. Pwede, ka, po ba? pwede yung ganito, Jeff. Halimbawa, ang action plan natin is, uh, ang root cause natin is kulang sa practice. Skill situation. No? Halimbawa, uh, kulang sa practice. So, pwede tayong ganito. Jeff, um, I can see I, uh, I can see that your personality type is thinker and what I know is thinker are bullet based procedural based and learns more with step by step process learning am I right? yes I'm, boss okay tama if I'm wrong tell me how your learning preference is ha? now 
what I have here is a job aid that gives us the step by step um, in processing ban to ban moves. All right, so I have here the step by step. So I have here the job aid. You can use that. Now, um, tell me, how many calls do you need to observe so that you can learn this based on your based on your estimation? Siguro three calls, boss. Oh, bilis no na. So, going back. So, I'll, I'll make it six calls. Can we do this, ano? Can we do this? How many days do you think? Um, what I'm planning to do is, would how do you want to uh, apply it? Do you want to listen to your peers, experts on the floor? You, do you want me to take calls or do you want to practice with me? So, ha, uh, six times we will do it. Pero how do you want it done? Para ma-relate mo yung job aid mo. If I'm the expert boss, I I'll I wanna do it on my end boss. Ah, sa calls mo mismo. Yes po. Or a role play where I can, you know, parang training environment. Ah, I see. can navigate. So ganto na lang, Jeff. Um let's do this before Chef, if it's okay with you. Um let's do this at, at least twice a day before Chef in three days. You think that's enough? Sure, boss. Okay, so ganun siya, Jeff. Ang nangyari, we agreed on the time, pero not necessarily na sureball na na ma-fix. Ine-estimate natin siya. So, ang estimation will be an estimation discretion ni ni supervisor or ni coach, pero syempre guided din naman ng intellect ng expert. So, working together kayong dalawa. So, yun yung sample natin sa time bound part. Measurable din yun kasi makikita natin na ang result sana niyan is titingnan natin yung oras. Ita-timelapse ko kasi yun eh. Kung yung first role play natin, 16 minutes, sana yung second role play natin, uh, pababa na pababa. Granting na alam natin yung ideal time. Kapag ang ideal time, 10 minutes, edi very good. Yun yung, yun yung mga measurement natin. So going back, that is smarter action plan can be a different discussion again. Pero the only basic thing that I want to relate is, make sure that your action plan is hitting the root cause. Ayan. Thank you for the question, Jeff. Any other questions? Sige lang, tanong lang tayo. Huwag na kayong mahiya. Pag may mga gusto kayong i-clarify sa isip. You can go off mute and ask. None so far. So guys, um, we're ending the discussion I hope I was able to achieve my goal. You know, it is really to simplify. Sana na simplify ko, no? <laughs> Kasi, um, going back, I know we went deep. We went to the root. Eh. Pero at least now, I hope you know why we prepare. Why we do the act phase. Why we do the influence. How we do it. You know? So, yun lang naman yung ibig ko sabihin sa intro kanina. And then, this is my way of learning and teaching that I'm sharing to you as well. It's not just the topic itself that I want to share, but my way of facilitation virtually, you know, and with Skype. May pa, may pa boundary pa tayo ng ano, uh, tour. Thank you for your time. Sorry, I missed the mark. Kala ko less than four hours, pero I enjoyed it kasi. Nag-enjoy din ako sa having you guys. Um... This is recorded. I'll be sending the link to you guys, making sure na 